Okay, let's see. Let's check this out. Auto save. Everything's fine. It feels like heaven. I see my parents. They look happy. They have a present for me. I wonder. It's a cat. So sweet and pretty. Dark as the deepest night. It's Mr. Midnight. My best friend. My only friend. We are having dinner, and I see Aunt Grace, too. I really like her a lot. It's Friday. My parents are going out. Aunt Grace takes good care of me. We are having so much fun. It's Monday night. I'm playing with Mr. Midnight. You can see Mr. Midnight's butthole right there. But something feels really bad. A strange creature outside my window. I don't like it. It scares me. Suddenly I hear something. It's mom, screaming. I want to know what's wrong. A bright light shines from my parents' room. I go closer. And closer. Mom? Dad? Please, don't. Mommy? Daddy? Fran, please follow my voice. On the count of three, you will wake up. One. Two. Three. Fran, how do you feel? I'm fine, I guess. Just sad to see the same things. Sadness is something everybody has within. I want to go home. You can't go home, Fran. You have to get well. I need my cat. I have to get out of here. I need my cat. Your cat is missing. It would be impossible to get him back. But now I have something for you, Fran. What is it? See the desk? There's a little package for you. It's from my Aunt Grace. Take it. Okay. Uh, uh, oops. No. This was my mother's purse. Open it. There's something inside. Dearest Fran, here is the purse you like so much. I thought you would like to have it. When I was thinking about you, I remembered that you look, that you like to examine objects and combine them into other things. So I hope you'll always keep this purse and give it all the other things you find a good use. Give all the other things you find a good use. 
or use. Never forget that creativity is absolutely the greatest gift you have. Love Aunt Grace. She is worried about you. Aunt Grace. Well, another reason to let me go. Well, don't worry about her. She's fine. Can I leave now? Can I go to my room now? Yes, you can leave, but before you do, it is time for your new medicine. What medicine? It's called Duotine. Makes you feel very relaxed. Nurse, we're ready. Anything new today, Dr. Dearn? Nothing, actually. Same visions as before. Oh, I see. Here, Fran, take your medicine. You don't have all day, Fran. Take the pills, now. I don't want to take the pills. Okay. I'm going to do something real fast. We got to turn this the volume up. Okay, we'll skip through this. We got to turn the volume up. How do you feel? I'm fine, I guess. We're going to skip through this as fast as we can. Okay. Open up the purse. Examine. Perfect. So I'm guessing, I'm guessing you can't wait out the pills. I'm guessing you have to, uh, you have to grab them because he, he repeated the same line twice. If he was saying other things, I would, I would, uh, try to wait it out. Yeah, I, I agree. Unless there's like, we don't have all day, Fran, take the pills, fine. I don't feel good. Oh no, take her back to her room. And nurse, don't let her take this ever again. Beware, Franbo. If you leave the House of Madness, I will hunt you down, catch you, and bring you back to insanity. Fran, wake up. The medicine will help you escape. I'll be waiting for you in the forest. I love you. Chapter one, my sober day. I'm still here? Hideous place. I have to get out of here. Hmm. Hopefully this won't fall on my head while I'm sleeping. Red and... Red and tiny, you are hiding from me. 
I hate the monster. I have to find Mr. Midnight. I have to find him now. I miss my kitty. He hides because he is afraid. He told me that the medicine would show me where he is. Oh dear, I miss you so much. We'll find you, Mr. Midnight, I promise. Don't be afraid, my dear. Uh, my dear kitty, everything will be just fine. Yay! <laughs> Fran, Fran Bo Dagenhart, age 10, gender female. History. The patient was found near the Oswald Asylum, showing signs of psychosis. The Bo Dagenhart family tragedy. Uh, details omitted. Treatment. Dr. Mar Marcel Dearn has tried different medications and all have been cancelled because of side effects. Documented July 25th, 1944. Yes, my friend is having a baby. Uh, uh, Han what was, what was her name in, in chat? Hannah and Skywalker, I think. I will get your nose. I will get it. Oh, I'm having a hard time laughing again. Are you a happy clown? Can you make me laugh? Okay, let's see. Locked. Good reason to get curious. I should get the key for this. So if you click multiple times, it says different things. Psycho what? I'm, I'm not that for sure. Side effects. Effects affecting one side of me, maybe? Oh dear, I really wonder who brought me here. Oh, sweet, sweet melody. One more time. La la la. It does the same as before, huh? Oh, holy moly, something fell. A handy hook. I'll save it to play pirate later. A golden hook that fell from the curtains. Okay. Oh, I guess I broke the curtains. Now I can look outside. Tower defense. We have, for you, a crazy person called Fran. Or is it a defense tower? Um, I guess that is my way out. I don't think my head would fit through the window. Hmm. Okay. My legs are just fine. Uh, I'm not disabled. Mm, not so easy to see through this. Is that the playground? Maybe somebody already tried jumping through this window. Empty bottle, empty glasses, nothing useful. Towels? Towels? I don't need towels. I don't think I need any of this. Hmm. I can't see through this window. Ah, oh, the playground. Good night, trees, and moon. I'm pretty sure the playground isn't a good escape route. Um, I like the bunny swing thingy. It makes me dizzy. Oh, I want to know what she's writing. I'm curious. I guess the nurse would never let me touch anything. I know the nurses always keep the medicine, but where? It seems like they always, she always has three things to say. Oh, Fran, you're awake. Good. How long was I asleep? Three days, maybe? Was it the medicine that made me sleepy? Yes, it was the medicine. That's why you're not taking it anymore. Something happened. Oh, I forgot. Something happened. See? You're nothing but trouble. What is it? Broke the curtains. I was trying to look outside and I accidentally broke the curtains. <laughs> accidentally. I have to fix this. Follow me. I'm, uh, the nurse would go crazy if I touch anything. The nurse is gone. I better go and talk to her. Something is missing. Have you seen the hook that holds the curtains up? <laughs> See nothing. 
No, miss, I, I haven't seen anything. Well, I have to go and find something to fix this, you little girl. Oh, I'll keep these patches to stop blood. Ew. Violent trauma can have a great impact on children, totally changing their normal lives. For example, children damaged by trauma can have mild to severe um, deficits in some abilities, such as trusting people near them, seeing the world as a safe place, making decisions, etc. Because of these side effects, some traumas can lead to several symptoms of major mental illness. For example, not trusting other people and not feeling safe in the world. This can be interpreted as paranoia. Drawing of the brain, frontal lobe, motor cortex, sensory cortex, parietal lobe, occipital lobe, temporal lobe. Oh god, are you Fran? Oh no. Let me see. Traumas. Hmm. Trauma is a word that doctors love to say. Hehe, <laughs> the brain looks like a turtle. Nurse, uh, nursing visit report. Nurse's name, Gladys Kriach. Patient name, Fran Bo. Patient behavior description. The patient has been sleeping almost all something. I'm having trouble reading this cursive. Uh, the patient has been sleeping almost all something. Oh, that's the, all the time. She... <laughs> I'm going to read from Simon's, uh, Simon's, uh, translation. She only wakes up to drink water, but I don't think she remembers that. After drinking, she goes to sleep again. She hasn't been social for three days now. Uh, some kids have come around and asked about her and when she would come out and play. Wow, that took me... I Man, you read that so much better than I did. I was like, trying to decipher this. The nurse's handwriting is awful. I only understand three words. Fran, sleeping, and duotine. Oh, there's duotine. I think this is where the medicine is, but it's locked. Oh my goodness, this is terrible. Why would the nurse have this? She wants to kill us all. If I'll leave it as it was. I really need to get out of this place. Okay, let's... Can we close this door? Drawer, I mean? Okay, let's look at some stuff. Tiny patches to cure wounds. My pills are inside. I know it. I have to crack the code. I wonder if you could like lose this game. I could still walk around it and see what's on the other side. Okay. Oh, oh, a secret box. Shh. Little box, it's open. A key. This will certainly open something. A tiny little key. I think this is a, uh, this won't work, because I think this is like a, 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 uh, combination lock. Okay. I hope somebody loves you. Hello again, Mr. Teddy. Hello, Phil. Hello. How are you? Everybody says that I'm sick. They're just stupid. They always say that. They're just stupid. Are you leaving tonight? I will if you help me. The only thing I know is that the office is the key. There's a key inside? The key. Is there a key inside the office? I saw the doctor write a secret code. A secret code? To open the yellow door? He doesn't want me to tell you. Who?
him. All doors are closed. You are a prisoner of my games. And nobody will help you escape. Leave me alone. I hate you. Mommy, Daddy, I need you so much right now. No, I won't let that monster stop me. You find the doctor's code yet? It's in the office. I used to have a blue dress like yours. I can play with you now. I'm on a very... I can't play with you now. I'm on a very secret mission. Oh, God. Yeah, that is true, Simon. Okay. Fillmore Bronstone, age 8. History. The patient came to Oswald Asylum with his mother, Rachel Bronstone. The boy has developed paranoid behavior. Paranoia has not yet been diagnosed. Daily treatment with Marcel Dearn. Uh, we have not achieved the, the patient's trust, and he refuses to be questioned. Oh, poor Phil. I understand why you wouldn't trust them. Oh, wooden Mr. Horse. Are you having a good time? Back and forth. Trip of our lives. Yeehaw. If I sit down, I will eventually get up. So what's the point? Be seated or not to be seated? That is the question. If, of course, it's locked. Okay. The key is too tiny. Uh. Okay, what do we have? We have this thing that we need to code for in the office. Wait, is this the office? Or is it another office? It was the doctor's office, not the nurse's, right? Wait, did I open this? Oh, locked. Okay. There we go. Yes, yes, I got it. And there's something inside. Ooh. Oh, my dear family, I'll guard this with my life. I miss you so much. I really need you here with me. I will find my kitty and then go to you, Aunt Grace. I know Aunt Grace will take good care of me and Mr. Midnight. I wish my parents were alive. Oh, my dear family, I'll guard this with my life. Okay. My hair clip. I should give it a good use. The drawer is empty. We picked the lock. It fits, but there are two holes. I need something else. Ugh, the shape is not right. Huh, we have bandages. Huh. Okay. So we need to pick the lock, but we need something else that we could combine it with. Hmm. We need this code. Hide. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, we know the answer to this. Eight, nine... Four, five. Eight, eight, nine, four, five. Here we go. The pills. Kitty told me these would help. Well, god damn. Oh, Jesus. Look at that. Hey, Jumbler, how's it going? Oh, is that my head? Give me the head back, please. 
Just go away, you weird creatures. Oh, are you sleeping, sweet bunny? Bunny, wake up. I'm doing very well. Please, bunny, just wake up. It was not me. Who did it? I wish I, I wish I could know the answer. I'll find out, I promise. Red blood. Find him. This is kind of cool, though. It, like, recontextualizes everything. Where did the clown go? Oh, geez. Oh, they said the same thing there. Well, uh... Watch your step. Will this guy hurt me? Hello, Miss Nurse. Oh, congratulations on your freedom. <laughs> Are you all right? Now you can jumble all day. Hello, huh? Hello, Miss Nurse? Hmm. You got a little blood on your mouth. Are you okay? My mommy also had blood in her mouth. She looked sad. Get out, creepy creature. What are you, huh? Tell me. You like to see me sad. Okay, she says the same thing there. Oh, Lord. Don't jumble too hard. Oh, look at that guy. To happiness. What does this say now? You can see. Of course, it's locked. Oh no! Your head! I'm trying to put your head back on. I'm sorry, I can't help you, Mr. Deer. Oh, the, the uh, teddy bear's gone, though. Why are you looking at me like that? You terrify me. What is that black thing sitting next to you? He's telling you things. Can you hear it? Phil is playing with his uncle, and the uncle is mad. Mad. Phil is crying. Oh, poor Phil. Do you see? You killed the bird. Your mommy is not happy. Uncle will die. Well. <laughs> Jumbler. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm making it worse. No, absolutely not. You can't tell her that. She has to know. You can't uh, keep me away from her. The reason is more than clear, Grace. No, it's not. I want to take her home now. You can't. Fran's mental condition is not appropriate yet. Is that real? Oh dear, Aunt Grace. This guy right here is horrifying. I wonder why she, what she has to tell me. A doctor is no soul. I'm going home tonight. Okay, let's see. Why would I do that, Jumbler? It... My name is Angela. Hey, hello. Welcome to my very own show. Uh, I'll introduce myself to you. Oh, no, it's Ninny Poo. Shooby dooby doo wop wop. My name is Angela, and you are not Nanette Venoir, a stuck up jerk face snot. There we go. Angela Anaconda. <laughs> oh, I remembered it. How are you doing, uh, Bombshell? Oh, no. Foxy Fox, don't cry. So, Angela Anaconda, was that in the States, too? Use my hand as a tissue. Would you like a hug? Foxy, why are you so sad? Okay. We already checked that out. Oh, that was a weird show. That was a show that I used to watch as a kid, but I always wondered if anyone liked it. You know? Like, there's certain shows 
Yeah, yeah, really, Seba. It's horrifying. Horrifying. Ah, ah! I messed everything up. I messed everything up. Okay, we're we're back. Okay, so what do we have? We have a hook. Oh, wait a minute. Negative. Ah, I tried to use a hook. Can we use the band-aid? This won't work, huh? There's two holes. So I need I need okay. Let's let's figure this out. I have a hook. I have a family photo. I have a box of band-aids. I have a hair clip. I need to get out of that. Yeah, it's a point and click. I have a hair clip. The hair clip can be used with the door, but I need something else. Oh, flashbacks to locomotive. Don't worry, I'll, I'll I'll finish this game except for the last 13 minutes, and then I'll secretly record a video of the last 13 minutes and distribute it only to a couple people. Hmm. Let's bandage up the dead mouse. Can't do that. Wait, what's this? Oh, there we go. This is gonna. This is our what we needed. Small and sharpie. This might fit somewhere. Can we combine this with this? Yes, we can. My very own special key. Nice. <laughs> okay. Okay, Zeba. Okay. Yes, to happiness. What was that? Daddy was not there. Mommy would not care. The maze. We never get to play out there. Whoa, tonight the fog is pretty thick. I wish I could get lost in there. Uh, hello. You're my beloved friend. Bip, 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 berm. You want to hug me? Try to catch me. Berm, bip. You can't catch me because you haven't found me. Ah, things not working makes me angry. Wait. Okay. What? This wasn't here before. Can I un? Oh, we can toggle. <laughs> the king likes drawings. I don't like this. Somebody wrote something here. Interesting. I don't like this. Okay. Ah. Uh. Okay, that doesn't count as a drawing. The left decapitated head looks like Jerry from Rick and Morty. It kind of does. Okay, let's look at this in normal mode first. Oh, let me see. A red puppet and the serpent. A teddy and many other things. Snuggle, snuggle, old lady on your chair. And your booty will be flat like your face. Oh, real flowers, they smell so sweet. The drawer is empty. Um, Adelaida Fugents. History. The patient was a victim of sexual abuse by an unknown person, which almost killed her. This event has created auditory hallucinations and thought disorder. Dr. Marcel Dearn has, uh, become close to the patient through... So I kind of wonder if... I, I don't know what is in this game, but I feel like maybe I should add a, uh... Here, I'm, I'm going to do something real fast. I'm going to do something real fast. Uh, I don't even know what I should do as a content warning, honestly.
Okay. This is a this is a watch at your own discretion. Okay. We're back. Oh, this is one of those mute clowns. Man, you know that the one thing you want to do in a children's psychiatric facility is leave a bunch of pictures of horrifying clowns. I'm sure that'll do a lot of good. I've seen so many, and they all look sad. This one is very happy, though. Good for him. The bed is very pink. That's mine. My crayons. Can I have it? I just like this green crayon so much. Can I have it? No, I won't be able to draw green then. That's ridiculous. But you have so many. Oh, that's true. But you have so many other colors. Yes, many colors. But you know, they don't like me drawing. Who? The nurses. They tie me up when I want to draw. I can't. Me too sometimes. Yes, they tie me up too sometimes. It hurts. When I can't draw, I hurt myself. Then comes the red milk. Look. Oh, jeez. Please, cure me. Yes, stop the red milk. I'll see what I can do. Oh, thank you. You can have the crayon. Now go, I have to draw. Crayon, I draw, I draw with a crayon. Oh, let's let's actually before we go, we'll pop a pill. Even the purest of things die in this place. You can see. Tiny tiny hands all over you, eating your soul. Why do you look like a fabric doll? What have they done to you? Please, somebody, tell me something. You should blame yourself. Be quiet. He takes away your innocent inner child and devours it. Nobody believes you, although the wounds are bleeding. God damn. Man, I don't know what it is about our channel, but we keep watching... We keep stepping into horror that is, like, super tragic all the time. What is the... What is the deal? <laughs> Where did the clown go? My favorite green crayon. I don't like this. Somebody wrote something on here. Interesting. Ah, won't work. Dang it. We need to use the, the green crayon to draw on something. Hmm. The throne is empty. I didn't realize that anyone could see me. Oh, gross. I didn't realize that anyone could see my pooping. Gross. I can and will hold it. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. There you are. You should be in your room. The door was closed. You left it open. I'm sure it was not open. I know, because I locked it. How'd I get out, then? It was open. Hmm. Don't try to trick me. Go inside your room and wait for the doctor. Ah, I have no time for this. I have to find a way out. Did you break out from your room? That's not nice, Fran. I haven't eaten in days. But I'm hungry, sir. I haven't eaten in days. I won't listen to any of your excuses, young lady. Let me go eat something. Sir, doctor, please. Let me go out and eat something. 
You have to learn how to listen to those in charge. Lesson learned. Of course, sir. Sir, lesson learned. Just don't do it again, Fran. Go and eat now, then get back to bed. I wonder what that blinking light is for. It's very hypnotic. I wish I could shut it down. The sign shows where things are in the hospital. But what it doesn't show is how awful the place is. It should say welcome to the most terrible place in the world. Sir Oswald Harrison, a bearded old man. Wonder why he built this place. Maybe he had a crazy child and wanted to get rid of it. The gate is very locked. I guess I'll never, I've never seen this gate unlocked. Not even when I first came here because they don't remember that. The yellow door, that's my way out. The reception room, you always find a nurse in there. They could smile and bow and tell the nurse to open the gate. But then again, they'd really think I'm insane. Okay, so we clearly need that. We can't reach those tiny windows. That's the office key, it must be. But what can I do to reach it? Hey, what are you looking at? Nothing, I think. So you're able to think. You should think about getting the hell out of here. I will, bye. Sir, the key hanging up there, can I have it? Sure, I could give you the key if you give me a kiss. Uh, you should kiss your butt. What a bastard, you can kiss your butt. Well, if I call emergency, I don't think they would help me. Okay, hmm. Visits today, Fillmore, Jason, Lisbeth. Bill was here today. Hey, get your hands off the office door. Yeah, really, Seba. The blackboard is empty, no drawings. Yeah, just a little fucked up. Hello, are you all right? What is that supposed to mean? wanted to know if you feel okay. I don't want to tell. The doctor will cut your head open if you don't leave. He likes to eat brains. He already took mine. He ate all of my thoughts. He ate your brain? He will eat yours too. I saw you inside the doctor's office. You were dead. Oh no, then I have to go. I hope you find new thoughts. Bye. This is a pretty big starter area, huh? Oh, can we do drawings here? Isabel. She won't wake up. I guess this means she is heavily sedated. Would you like to help me escape? With your big muscles and hairy arms? You could break through every wall. Good night, shiny toys. Have you seen my kitty? He is the most funny and clever guy. You would like him. Clowns on the walls in the House of Madness. You are way better inside that frame than down here, sir. Your tiny hat is very sweet. The smile on your face is quite scary. Did you say something? Ugh, creepy. Oh, pink sash is now mine. A sash from the robe. Good to tie things together. Interesting. Little paper boat. Take me to the sea and beyond. I wonder if this paper boat can sail. Because if it sinks, I could drown. Because I can't swim. The action men. Could either of you help me find my kitty? The soldier lost his leg in the war. 
and that cowboy ate the princess. By the way, uh, can you hear like the footsteps and stuff like that as I'm playing? Because there's no option to turn up the in-game sounds, only the music. Don't touch that. You will die if you do. Waves, they didn't work. What do you mean? The paper should be working like they told me. What does the paper do? But what is the uh, what is it the paper has to do? I need the paper to show me what's on the television. Why isn't it working? Oh, I see. Why isn't it working? The waves must be powerful. Change the channel, please. We're losing the waves. Change channel. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do real fast. We're going to do that. And we're going to boost the general volume of this game. I think that'll be better. Okay, let's hope that we continue. Okay, good. We continue from here. Okay. Elephant, sir. You are very pink and soft. You look like you have been training at the circus. And your tummy is filled with love. Okay. Kill Monday. No program or anything other than these hypnotic colors. <laughs> Life is good! Yay! Patrick Haight. Human testing approved. Breaking news. <laughs> oh, a documentary, maybe. I guess it's about pine cones and ants. Okay, let's go here for a second. News, human testing approved. That's no news, Mr. Announcer. The super hyper happy hop, uh, cupcake dance. Let's see if he likes this. The waves must be powerful. Change the chant. Wait. What do you want? Can we, uh... Oops. Uh, that happened. I didn't even mean to click the pills. Oh no, they did it all wrong. They cut your head into little pieces. Please take me out of here. Please help me take me out of here. Wake up, Isabel. The black shadow is touching you. It says that you're going to die soon. Are you afraid of death? I hope not, because it may happen even if you don't like it. Uh, I can't look at that shadow. Oh yeah. Let's talk, let's look at this guy. Look at me. I say I care. Well, you're. Well, look at me. I say I, I say you're beautiful. While I give you poison to eat. Look at me. I say I love you. While I'm teaching you to hate yourself. Look at me. I say I care. While you're dying of hunger and thirst. Where did the clown go? Where did the clown go? Hide your pain. I won't even try that. Oh, I saw something for a second. Oh! You can see an image of Fran Bo in the back. This is trippy. Crazy. Hmm. 
These are now on different channels. We're losing the channel, change the channel. No, I didn't mean to hit that. Ah, I pressed the wrong button. I don't think this is good, but in this case, it won't do any good. Okay. Your grandfather clock is big and grand. Tick tock, tick tock, it will never stop. What do we have here? Chocolate. Mmm, yummy. I don't like bitter coffee. The menu of the day. Mmm, pasta. The signal is weird. That must be because we are so far away from everything. I don't really understand what they say. Mommy loved to paint roses. Hmm. The sofa, made to be sat on. I can't sit, the sofa is taken. It smells like poo. I don't like this painting. It feels like Mr. Oswald is staring at me. I guess Mr. Oswald is very old. Old enough to be dead. Mr. Midnight, are you here? I suppose not. Hello, are you new here? I haven't seen you before. No. Are you from downstairs? Uh-huh. They think I'm better now. What's your name? Could you please kill me? Please? Sure, bang, you're dead. Thank you. I can't talk now. I'm dead. Oh, well, I messed that up. A little lemonade. Not that thirsty. Hmm. I can see the cinnamon bun melting in my mouth. Tasty cinnamon bun. Oh, this kid's name is Jason. I already took one. I wonder if the, the pasta was cooked today. Not by the looks of it. The salad looks fresh for once. Milky milk. I guess this carton is all sour, like always. Ugh. Hello. Oh, hello, Fran. How are you today? Fine. Glad to hear you're fine. Carry on now. Open the yellow... Nurse, could you open the yellow door? That's not very appropriate to ask. I think you should go to your room now. Oh. So sorry, miss. I didn't mean to say anything inappropriate. Very well, Fran. Go play with your friends now. Birdie bird, I like you. I wish you could take me out of here, can you? Wait, where's this girl going? Hey Annie, how are you? Aren't you afraid of me? No, why would I? Because I can do magical tricks and make you sleepy. I didn't know you could. Magical tricks? Show me. Show you, but it's very scary. It's better if you do it. I'm not a magician. I can't. I can give you the magical stuff. Really? Woo! Yes, the magical stuff that will make anyone fall asleep. That's amazing. Powerful and grand. Here, as a gift, take it slowly. How does it work? So I guess we have to drug the guy by the key. All right, how does it work? I have no idea. Or maybe we drug the coffee. Okay, same line as before. Don't touch my sword. I didn't know it was yours. You should bow and speak clearly to me. I'm your king. Okay, Joffrey. I bow to you, sir. 
Very well, my child. What is the purpose of your visit? I want your cane. What walking cane? Do you mean my sword? Yes, your highness. Your sword. Why, what would you give me in exchange? Anything you need, your highness. Bring me a castle and a horse. Only then will I grant you my sword. Where's my castle and horse? Okay. I'll keep looking. I don't want this. I'm not hungry. Annie loves to drink the milk like a kitten. Sadly, she's not my cat. I'm gonna miss her. I guess she won't remember me. This door is always locked at night. I can't go out and play. I guess I'll have to wait until tomorrow, but that's absurd. Okay, pill time. Well, to find my kitty, it's alive. If Kitten were here, he would probably attack it. Hope it doesn't start following me. Wait, the faces are gone. Ah, the playground. Good night, trees and moon. There's a handprint there. Please tell me if you can hear me. Why do you have this creature next to you? He's staring at you. Maybe he wants to eat you. That holy man took all your clothes off. Oh, Jesus. Oh, how pretty those all these roses are, right? Your mommy doesn't believe you. Well, this is like a super depressing game. Oh, my God. What the hell? Uh, okay, one second, one second. We gotta, we gotta do a little, a little tweaks to our, to our thing. <laughs> uh, uh. Let's see. Here, let's just get this going. <laughs> Gotta do a big ol... Whoops, stream info could not be updated. Well... Okay. I guess, uh, I guess they blocked certain words. Yeah, this game... It, oops. <laughs> they blocked certain words that... So I can't actually give a... <laughs> oh, yeah. I wish you could take me out of here, can you? Fly away, what are you waiting for? Birdie bird, I like you. Yeah, so like, all, it's clear that like all these kids, well, I shouldn't say all, but most of the kids at least, were abused in some way, and then like their family didn't believe them and they were dumped here. So this kid was clearly molested by a priest. And his mom didn't believe him. Thought he was a liar and got him committed. That's horrifying. They hide you because they love you. They harm you because they hate you. Oh, little boy, everyone feels ashamed of you. Oh no, the lady nurse died. I wonder who did this. It wasn't me. She smells real bad. It feels like the smell is all over me. Hmm. Hmm. Teddy, what are you doing here? Yeah, I wonder where that Teddy went. Are you on your way to meet another Teddy? Say hello from me when you get there. It feels like a chilly breeze of sadness is coming through this fence. I wonder what they truly do down there. Maybe I don't want to know. 
I will laugh at you. I will lie to you. I will hide you inside the shadows. I wonder how far this teddy crawls. Will it go like off screen? Yeah, this is a pretty mortifying game. Oh, we've already checked out this place. Reach the key. Wonder what part of the body that is. Sticky, bloody parts. I don't want to touch it. Uh, Mr. Pig is naked. Mr. Pig has no wings to fly with. No flying Mr. Pig here for me to see. Ew, a crunchy pig's head ready to be served. I wonder who would eat this. I think my kitty would be afraid of it. Okay. Oh, this clock sounds so odd. It feels like it's whispering right in my ear. Hmm, I can't understand what it says. Oh, that clock's eye looks like Mr. Midnight's. Maybe it's because time is running out for him. Oh, my dear kitty, I have to find you. I wonder what that blinking... Okay, we've already read that. We've already read that. A bleeding clock. It's like time is broken and stopped. I find the clocks to be a bit depressing. Hold up there, miss. Your dress is very pretty. My mother had a, a very pretty dress, too. Had very pretty dresses, too. Hmm... What? This wasn't here before. Oh, uh, did we? Okay, wait, we can go down. Okay. So what do we need? Can we drug this guy somehow? This is serious. I shouldn't show these to anyone. Hmm. I can use the rope to tie the hook with something. It's like a hand without an arm. Okay, so we have something there. Uh, so we can probably use this to escape, maybe. This looks like something that you would use to... Ah, uh, it's probably too short. Okay. So here's what, what we need to do. We need to get that key. We need to get outside. We need to do something with this paper, with the TV. We need to get a horse and a castle. We have a crayon, so we need to draw on something. There, a window said that the king, wait. Oh, oh, hold on a second. Okay, I think we had a clue. I think it said the king. So I think it was talking about the kid. So I think this was a clue for the puzzle. The king likes drawings. Okay, so we have the crayon. We need to draw a picture of a horse and castle. Let's try to go... Hmm... Where can, what can we draw a horse and castle on? I think we need to solve the waves thing. Hmm. By the way, if you've already played this game and you know the answers, don't tell me. But if you haven't, if you don't know the answers, feel free to say ideas. So I think we need a piece of paper. We need to change the channel. We're losing the waves. So we're going to need to get a piece of paper from this guy. Oh, look, this guy had brain surgery, clearly, or like, because he has a stitched up scar on top of his head. Still not working. 
Paper vision negative. Change again. We're losing the waves. Change the channel. The waves must be powerful. Change the channel, please. Hmm. It works, it works, a miracle. Thank you. Paper vision positive. Great, can I see? No, this is mine. If you want, you can take the papers that didn't work. Wouldn't that kill me? Thank you, but you told me that would kill me. I never said that, you liar. I'm busy. Paper vision revision is in action. Yeah, for some reason I thought it started on this channel. Okay. Well, now I can write or draw when I'm bored. Okay. Let's combine this with this. Yes. Draw something special for the king. Oh, that's beautiful. Exactly what I dreamt of. You can take my sword now. It's yours. Yes. Okay, let's look at this. The royal walking cane from the king. Oh, no, no worries, Bombshell. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, uh, we were at the point where we were just trying the channels. Okay, let's combine with this. Okay, now I can reach high. They call this the Grabomatic 2000. So we can use this to get the key, but we need... Oh, can we do this? Oh, it's a magical sleepy sleepy cake. Okay. So, I think now we drug the guard. I brought a cake for you. I don't want any trouble, so I brought this cake for you. I'm not interested in taking anything that comes from you. It makes your life sweeter. Please take it. It will make your life a bit sweeter. I don't care about making my life sweeter. Now leave. You don't want it? No. Now leave me alone. Give me that. You can't take the key. It's my Grabomatic. But I worked so hard on it. It's my Grabomatic. Give it back. Shut up. And you don't make the rules. I do. This toy of yours will be fine with me from now on. Uh. I'll wait until you leave then. Do whatever you want. I'll never leave this chair. Okay, that's fine there. I told Marcel about the latest delivery, but he hasn't looked at it yet. Well, he will catch up soon. Hey, Gladys, would you do me a favor? Sure, anything. But, uh, any sure, anything. But bring the coffee to the guard. Why not? I can't do it because I have got to take care of the children. Uh, I have other things to do myself. Sorry. Fred, I told you, go mind your own business. Okay, let's see. You got that. Oh, goodness. Sorry. Lovely fingers. Okay, let's... Okay.
Okay. Ah, oh, the kiss for the key. That's horrifying. Here's your hot, hot, hot coffee, sir. Oh. Look what you did, you insane orphan bitch. You did that on purpose. Now I have to go and change. God, it's burning like hell. Don't go anywhere, you little shit. Okay. Come back to your great creator. I got you. Now I can unlock the office. Well, we'll take that. It's always good to carry an extra key. Hmm. I wish the key holder had all the keys. The brain is so complicated. Vision, taste, and hearing? I learned some of this at school. I don't remember it all. I don't even understand all my thoughts. I guess nobody does completely. The books are all the same. I wonder whose head that is. No pictures or funny riddles. Mr. Midnight could tell me a riddle. He loves them. This book is not interesting. The yellow typewriter. I could write a letter to Aunt Grace. Dear Aunt Grace, take me out of here, please. Hmm. Uh, the doctor ate an apple. I could use this as a helmet to prevent injuries when I faint. But I guess my hair does a good job, too. The doctor used to sit here and do nothing. I hate this bed. I'm not laying down here. I've cried so many times here. Okay. I don't really know what this is. Cool air comes out of it, like the wind. I guess behind this, there's a hole. A wind hole. I don't really know what this is. Mental Health Global Week. I wonder what people do at these gatherings. October and November. I guess we're in October now. What tiny text? Thoughts of Marcel Dearn. Hmm. You're not alone. Join us today, Oswald Asylum. What a lovely painting. I wish I could draw like that. Testing day. Every day is testing day. An interview with Dr. Dearn. Working with children. Oh, the code! And some important information, finally. Oh, I've seen this before. What does it mean? Okay. Dr. Marcel, turn off the alarm from the security system panel in reception. The yellow door will remain open for two minutes until the alarm reactivates. Alarm code. December 17th equals something. July 25th. This code is very important. Hey, how's it going, stars? Welcome. Hope you're having a great day. Okay, let's see. Uh... Well, uh, that's horrifying. Oh, that dead girl looks a bit like me. Yeah, I've, I've heard really good things about this game. I know nothing about it, basically. But it, it looks really interesting. And hey, Downcomer, how are you? Well, I'm sedated and I see weird stuff, but I'm not dead. I can breathe and talk, and all the things a living person does. Even though your eyes are open, you can't understand. Even though your eyes are bleeding, you can't feel. Don't hide what hurts. Let it hurt you. Uh, uh, downcomer, I, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, but this might not be the most soothing stream. This game is very horrific, <laughs> but I'll do what I can. I need to open the gate in front of the yellow door. We have the key. Okay. Phil! A forgotten girl with no family or cat will die when the moon arrives. What do you mean? Um, okay, Phil. <laughs> I 
Oh, I love to open mail, but this is not for me. Is this locked? Ah, Phil, please let me out. I mean, that wouldn't make sense that it's on this door. Huh. Oh, and the door is gone when we're in this form. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, the wind hole. I guess this is my way back. Um, I use Streamlabs OBS. Are you a streamer too, Stars? I wonder if Phil knew about this. Oh, cool. Here, let me just give you... Oop. Oh, that rat really hit its head. I should give it a helmet. Here, let me just give you a follow real fast. Oh, playing... Oh, Night in the Woods. I heard that's really good. Uh... Oh, it, it, it is one of the ones I got from, uh, it is one of the ones I got through Streamlabs. Um, yeah, I think it was one of the ones I was just able to download through there. Oh, I know, I know. But it's always, it's always nice to meet streamers. I'm the one who asked you if you were a streamer. Oh, thanks so much for the follow. <laughs> I'll just keep going and going. By the way, if you are interested, no pressure, no pressure. <laughs> um, if you're interested, we do have a Discord here, and you're we have a self-promotion channel. So whenever you're streaming, you're totally welcome to go and post that you're streaming. Totally welcome to. Ah! Oh, are we now down in the creepy basement? Okay. Oh dear, where am I now? I guess I'll have to find out. There's nothing under the blanket. One thing that's cool about this game is it kind of does a little bit of the Silent Hill thing, where Silent Hill has the two worlds, right? Like the 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 fog world or the whatever it's called and the rust world or whatever. Like it's the two the two different realities. And this game kind of does that. It's really neat. Ah, now I can't go back. But anyways, if I go back, I know what I'll find. I shouldn't be afraid of always moving forward. A mop that will dance on the floor. Mr. Midnight hates mops. He always tried to kill them with his furious paws. Huh, cleaning products. You should clean our toilets. Sponges and washcloths and thousands of chemicals. I don't think I need any of these. Okay. No water to wash my hands. Hmm... Hmm. The box is open. Let me see. The gloves tell me nothing. All nurses wear gloves. Scraped label. Hmm. The bottle is empty. I guess we'll put some pills in it. The patient. Number. Is our current target. Target response is positive. Now expanding the triggering gland. Ectoplomatin. Dose up to 1700 mic micrograms? Is that what that is? Uh, change the container so it looks uh, like an approved variant of duotine oh that's interesting so ectoplomatin is what I was given huh bad pills I just take them to find my kitty I could take it and taste it but I don't want to Oh, really? I didn't realize they're in the same world. That's interesting. I think I I think I own both of them. Yellow pills, huh? They look more fun than the red ones. I wonder why I get the red pills instead of yellow. Maybe they just ran out of that color. Uh, maybe until I take them all. Wait, I think I'll quit when I find Mr. Midnight. Or maybe I'll just take them all. 
Old and rusty. I guess I have a place to sleep if I don't find the way out. There's nothing under the blanket. Oh, if I were a witch, I could fly away from here. Let's look at this room real fast. Hmm, delicious. What does that say? Lies in a box. Yeah, interesting. You really lose your head in this place. Badum tsh. Hopefully I can escape before I lose mine. Ah, it's locked. I can try again and again. It's locked forever and ever. Okay, so there's gonna be an answer here somewhere. Yeah, really. Yeah, when you when you read the um when you talk to the spirits behind the kids or whatever, like those like creepy black silhouettes, they say some pretty horrific shit that puts stuff in uh a very uh unfortunate perspective. Okay, what do I have? I have it wait. Oh, okay. Well, hello. If you struggle, you will know that it was I. I will be in every corner to make you suffer and cry. If you choose to disobey, your cat's life will be marked. Oh, my dear kitty. We'll soon be together again, I promise. I miss you, my dear. I miss you so much. Why are you leaving? Please don't leave me alone, Mr. Midnight. At the end of the maze, Fran. Are you familiar with an old game called Sanitarium? Sanitarium, I think, started out a little bit like this. Although it was more of like an isometric puzzle game. I fainted again. I wonder if my dreams are true. The monster won't let me go home. But if I find the maze, maybe I can find Mr. Midnight. Okay. Huh. Operating room. Patient Robert Clark. Robert Clark. Psychosurgery procedure, lobotomy. Dr. Roman Bates. Uh, observation, failed anesthetic. The patient woke up after reaching frontal lobe. Jesus. The procedure was canceled and incompleted. Was that the guy who was um, in front of the TV? Or is that someone else completely? Well, that's horrifying. Well, that's also horrifying. Oh no, poor girls. I hope they get well soon. I hope I never end up like this. I won't if I leave this sick place and find Mr. Midnight. That's probably Robert Clark. Hello, are you resting? Did you puke? That's disgusting. I hope you get well soon. Have any of you guys seen the French-Canadian horror movie Martyrs? I just got some martyrs vibes looking at that room. Oh my god, that movie. The operating room. I don't want to go inside. It smells like rotten flesh. Ugh. I don't want them to play with my head in there. <laughs> uh, I recommend it with a warning. It is known for being one of the most... Um, a graphically disturbing horror movies. Like, it is it is very, very, very violent and explicit. Very, very, very incredibly violent and explicit. But it is also, if you're cool with that, it is very, very good. Yeah, it's a very, very good film. But there's, there's an American remake that is apparently terrible. 
So don't watch the remake. Watch the the French Canadian one. Martyrs. Here, I'll spell it out. Yeah, the the uh, there was an American remake that was basically a like toned down, like super super. Like they tried to really make it mainstream, and it's it's n apparently not very good. But the French Canadian one is absolutely insane. So, uh, oh, so I I did go all the way around. Like I'm by the way, for, for the record, I'm not a guy that is into like torture porn movies. Like I don't like movies like Hostel and things like that. And people call Martyrs kind of a torture porn one, and yet I really liked it, even though I normally don't like stuff like that. So even if that's if it's not your genre, but if you can tolerate it, it's it's still recommended. Um Well, hello there, that's horrifying. Yeah, yeah. I I agree. I, I generally I like things that are psychological. I really like psychological horror, um, and uh, I don't generally like the things that are just like, I don't generally like, like slashers or like um, things like that, um, but Martyrs both has horrific stuff, but it is also psychological. Yeah. <laughs> You can't blame those who are ignorant, but you can't let ignorance decide. Life will teach you, even through pain and tears. My path to life has been denied. I haven't been born, but I was alive. I'm waiting for a mother to love me. Who is that? Sir, wake up. Yeah. Yeah, like, the thing I find with Martyrs is it has, like, you're watching one movie, and then partway through you're watching another movie, and then partway through you're watching another movie. Like, there's it has a lot going on. It's really interesting. It... Itward? It says Itward. I don't know what that means. Is that, like, an acronym? Or IT ward or something ward. Draw. Uh, I don't know. Oh boy. Why do you have your brain out? Is it too warm in there? Hmm. It won't answer. Maybe the mice will come and have some meat. Oh. So I did go all the way around. I'm just under the kitchen now. But I can't go upstairs, it's locked. Okay, let's go up here. Oh, look where we are. Yes, I took the new one upstairs. Franbo? No, I haven't seen her. What? The key to the cellar? Well, no. In the doctor's office? He used to have the key there. Calm down, the key is not here. Sure. I'll let you know if it turns up, but you must calm down. Yes, I'll bring it to you if I find it, alright? Bye. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe this. Baby shaken syndrome. I'm at the reception already. This is grand. But the nurse, I have to get rid of her. Hmm. I guess we use that, right? What should I do? This won't work, huh? Huh. How do we get the thing to the nurse? Without getting seen. Oh my goodness, I can't believe this. Uh, let's see. What should I do? Oh, the note I have said something about this. Oh, that's the... The key holder has no keys to hold. Hmm. That's the code for the security thing. Miss Nurse, I hope you won't go to the toilet soon. Or I hope you want to go to the toilet soon. My goodness, I can't believe this. Okay.
Can't do that. Huh. Okay. Oh, you are all skinny. Yeah. Where are you hanging up there? Are you a nurse too? Oh my goodness, are you okay, little baby? Is that your mommy hanging up there? You miss her? I miss my mommy too. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that is really horrific. At the end of the maze. Key holder has no keys to hold. I can't remember Aunt Grace's phone number. Uh, Silent Hill PT, anyone? Memories of that, jeez. I'll just surprise her when I get home. Oh, a love letter. Dear Pete. Ugh, gross. This is exactly what Mr. Midnight told me. I wonder what's at the end of the maze. Whatever it is, I hope I can find my kitty. Okay, can we use this? Ah, uh, things not working is making me angry. Okay, what do we have? We have the alarm code. We have the nurse that we basically need to get rid of. We have a drugged cinnamon bun. Hmm. Can't remember Aunt Grace's phone number. I'll just surprise her when I get home. Let's see. Oh, I know this. My teacher told me about this. It's when crazy parents shake their babies. Bastards. And the babies bleed inside. Many die. Oh, God. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, you know what? That's what we do. Ah, oh, there you go. Hope the nurse sees the key. So we'll go back here. Oh, the key was here after all. I better take it back. Okay. Oh, a love letter. Okay, we've already seen that. Is there anything back here we can interact with? Ah. Okay. So we need to disable this. Is it like 1724 or something? Oops. Does the code mean 1725? I'm missing something. Okay, let's see. Oops. Okay. Turn off the alarm from the security system panel in reception. The yellow door will remain open for two minutes until the alarm activates. The code. Um... Is this a puzzle? Because they said it's October, but I'm not sure if the code is like right here. <laughs> Let's see. December. Hmm. A four digit code. Okay, one second. Uh, December, January, February, March, April, May, June. J ah, okay, that doesn't work like that. I was trying to think of like a number progression. Um, seventeen equals. Tw July 25 equals 31? 
Yeah, it does almost look like you can see the scribbled out numbers. Like that almost looks like it says like 31 or something. Like 2531. Wait. Hmm. Hmm. Hopefully this nurse takes a long freaking time delivering the key. Uh... Yeah, I could also see it being like nine. Top one is seven. Hmm. It's like that looks like 31 to me, but I, I might just be seeing things. Huh. Yeah. Okay. And they said it's October. I don't know if that's important. I don't know if this is a passcode that changes each, each month or if the code is contained right in here. Right? Because if, if there is a... Oh, wait. Two, five, three, one. 17. Does that also say 3 1? 2 5 3 1. 17 3 1. Hmm. Hmm. I'm missing something. Okay. So, is there something about July, why July would be 25 or why December would be 17? Um, is that important or am I just tunnel visioning on weird stuff? Hmm. Uh, if these are both 3-1, both of these months have 31, 31 days, right? Like, I might be going down a weird path here, but both of these months have 31 days. Um, what do you mean? Oh, you're saying oh seven two five? Oh seven two five? Oh. Where was the calendar we saw? Was it? Oh, it was up in the doctor's office, so we can't go there. So it's it's probably not about October. The October thing, I'm probably just going on the wrong trail. Because it's got to be something we can, we have access to. Because we can't get back to that doctor's office. So it's, I think that puzzle is in our hands. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the puzzle's in our hands. Uh... <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying, stars. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Twelve, seventeen. I almost want to open, like, a notepad document. <laughs> I might actually do that. Notepad! I'm gonna have this just open on the side. Uh, 
Okay. And oh, and so there's a four digit code here that's crossed out, right? Hmm. You can almost see 32 here? Or here? I don't know. They both look like they both have a line that goes straight down. Although I can almost see a four, but I don't. I, I'm, I feel like three one is the most prominent. Although I could see that a four there. I could see July 25th equals four. Uh, sure. Sure, stars. I'm open. No worries, Simon. You, no need to apologize. Welcome back. Hmm. By the way, everyone in, just so everyone knows, <laughs> just so everyone knows, uh, the peeps in chat right now, Simon, Bombshell, and Stars are all streamers on here. Just so you guys know. I'm just, I'm just dropping that information. <laughs> December 17th equals... 34? Huh. I'm kind of seeing 34 now. Okay, let's see. Zero... Uh, dang it. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm gonna write down some numbers on notepad. So, December 17th equals something, which could also be notated as 12... 17 equals something. We have July 25th equals something. In parentheses, I'm going to put 31. Don't worry about the scribbled out numbers. Okay. Okay. That is that is very helpful. Because the problem with these puzzles is sometimes once you know it, you'll be like, oh my god, of course. Right? But um, but the tunnel vision just has your brain fixated on something. Okay. So July 25th, that could also be written as 0725. Okay. Um, let's see. So it's not 1725. It wouldn't be 1207 because these numbers are going to be important. Um, yeah, so Simon, um, just so you're caught up, we're trying to solve a four digit a four digit code to escape this place. Um, oh wait. Oh, wait, there's letters here. Let's just see something. Um, 5859 would be July. I'm just, I'm just writing this down. Equals 5859. Um... December would be three three two three. Hmm. Like I'm, I'm sure this is probably the wrong direction, but I just gotta follow the trails, right? December equals three three two three. E. Um. M-B-E-R. Six, two, three, seven. Six, two, three, seven. Okay. So the code that we have is contained on this page. 
December 17th, July 25th. The other thing we know, I don't, I think this is a red herring. I think this is a red herring because I think the code is on this page. But it is October in the game. That's one other thing we know. But I don't think that the, that it's a, a password that changes each, each month. Um, okay. Turn off the alarm from the security system panel in reception. Hmm. Code is very important. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> we can do this, guys. We can do this. 12. Okay, I'm, I'm going to 12 and 06. Hmm. I'm wondering what the, what the significance of these, if there's a significance of these numbers with respect to this. Or if those are just the numbers of the code, you know what I mean? Hmm. What if we do something like... Okay, I, I'm gonna do something that's probably just very, very dumb. Oh! <laughs> bombshell, that is literally what I was thinking. Wait, uh... 12... Two nine plus oh seven. Yeah, that's actually literally what I was gonna do. That's literally what I was gonna do. And it's correct. I was literally. I said this is probably gonna be dumb, but <laughs> uh, high five bombshell. <laughs> At the same time, we're like, here's the idea. <laughs> oh, we have two minutes. Let's get out. You little bitch. I'll make you pay for what you did. Okay, I should have probably gone faster. Or not. Never mind. We're fine. You clever little girl. Do you think you can just leave? What? It can't be. No. Oh, it's her buddy. I need to get to the maze. <laughs> okay. Let's get out of here. The tower, hmm. I've never seen this fence before. I'm gonna turn down the volume slightly. There we go. I'm just doing some pixel hunting as I, as I go through the maze. Okay. Oh, what was that? Ah! Ah! 
Where did it go? Oh no. Where did that little bird guy go? I mean, bird guy, it's a cat. What am I talking about? I listen, I know my animals. Okay, what happens? Let's see. Okay, we get eaten. Hey! What's this? I'm hearing you. You up here? I'm going to say that's a no. That's a no, you're not here. My name is Angela, hey, hello. Can we go over there or is this guy just death? Oh, we can go down here. Would you look at that? I found my way out. Achievement unlocked. At the end of the maze, you will find... The evil critters of the night. They will hunt you. They will laugh. But there will always be a good side. A cat full of nuts and bolts. Will always be your guide. Oh, we lost our pick. Chapter 2, Part 1, Curiosity Symptoms. Oh, this is cute. Oh my goodness, that was close. I hope the guards don't find the sewer. Oh, there's a trumpet. Oh, what is this place? I hope I find Mr. Midnight soon. <laughs> I remembered something funny. A very old uncle tried to blow on one of these. <laughs> he farted all his gases out because it was so hard to blow. Oh, this instrument is pretty. Reminds me of a snake that sounds like an elephant. And those tiny insects that roll themselves into ball balls. It says Jance, and I have no idea why. Maybe it's just a name, like mine or Mr. Midnight's. Or maybe a music maker that stopped loving the music. What a pretty horse. The king would like this one. I'm not going back though. He must escape himself. I wonder if they're looking for me. It can't be good to have a cozy 
place to stay. It can be good to have a cozy place to stay. Well, I'm very tired. Well, if I'm very tired, I could use it. I guess I'm not sleeping until I find my kitten. I know a story about a girl with red shoes, and she had a dog. I like animals, all of them. Dogs are animals. Anyway, it's just a shoe. Really, I should leave it here. I could make something out of this. It looks like a door. A door! Okay. Is this the same teddy bear? Dear, your arm is gone. Good that you're not bleeding. I'm kind of tired of all the red milk coming out of everyone. Who dares to leave an innocent teddy without shelter? I wonder. Mr. Midnight, are you in there? I guess not. I'll keep searching. What do I have? I've got a door and a crayon. Okay. Well. Well, goodbye. Hello, tree. Um, hi guys. Wow, these are very rare leaves. They look a bit sad and old. Maybe they aren't leaves. They're too white. Curiosity is damned. Damn you, curiosity. Oh, I like to be curious. Otherwise, how will you learn things? What are you? You are kind of curious yourself. What is the right question? But why should be more appropriate? I want the key. I don't have time to chat, sir. I want the key, that's all. Oh, but this key isn't ours. And it's not yours for sure. Please just give it to me. I want to know what door can be opened with this. We couldn't care less. The affection towards you is simply none. I'm Fran. You're very honest. I like that. I'm a person. Fran, pleased to meet you. Interesting. Tell us more. I have a cat. Well, I had one. He is missing now. I have to find him. Really? Yes, really. Now, please, give me the key. Look, person, Fran. We came from the south, flying as always. And one of us got curious about the key. And all of us got stuck here. And because of our long hair, we can't get loose. Can I help? You're also curious. Can I help you? We usually get stuck on trees, but we have something to fix that. A beautiful comb to comb our hair every time we get stuck. Give me the comb and I can fix you. There is a problem. A filthy thief took the comb. Now we're stuck here forever. If you find the thief and the comb, you will have the key. Deal? What does he look like? It's a rat. A filthy, narcissist rat. He took the comb to be beautiful. We couldn't do much, so he ran away with it. Please, find it and free us from curiosity. I'll find him. I hope he hasn't gone too deep in the forest. I'll find him. We will be here, waiting. Okay. Nice little friendly creepy tree. Um, I just want to point out that this guy is in the real world and not in the drug world. And same with this guy. Wow, this is a really big insect. Or is it a pig? Well, it's very odd. Oh wow, you're a really big ant. Who's there? Are you real? Oh, excuse me, sir, are you real? Ah, you always ask the same thing, always. <sighs> always, what do you mean by always? Of course I'm real. Where did you come from? Oh, I escaped the mental hospital. But oh, please don't tell anybody. I won't tell. Don't worry. But what are you doing here? A cat is out here. Somewhere, and I have to find him. A cat, you say? Yes, sir. A black cat. With very big yellow eyes. Mr. Midnight. Oh, I see. I'm sorry, girl. Yeah, really. <laughs> Really am. How's it going? I mean, every other situation in this game was a lot more horrific to pop on. 
pop in on you popped in on one of the friendliest moments of this game so far <laughs> Please, at least tell me if you saw him around here. It happens to be that that cat is eaten, chewed and swallowed. Eaten? What do you mean? The black cat that came towards me in a hurry. I catch it. I give it to my beetle pig. My beetle pig is hungry. Oh, my poor beetle pig hasn't had any food in days. The blueberry time passed by, and we ate them all. Stop it, can't you see? Mr. Midnight is the only one I have. Please tell me that you're joking. Oh, little girl, don't cry. I can sing for you if you'd like. What will I do now? You don't know how it feels to be alone. I do know, yes. I'm the last one alive. Let me help you, yes? How could you possibly help me? The digestion is not so fast, you know. Maybe he's still alive inside the beetle pig. Should I do something like make the beetle pig vomit? Kill the beetle pig. He is also the only friend I have left, but I need the meat. Kill your beetle pig friend? I, I can do it, yes, do it. You can kill the beetle pig and I, Antonio the greatest shall eat the meat. Um, okay. Well, so in this game, our family has been killed and we were in a mental hospital in which we were being abused horrifically. And they gave me some pills and the pills let me see creepy shit like this. Wow, this is the least creepy place we've seen. Okay, normally there's really creepy shit, but not right now apparently. What kind of bird are you? You look like an owl. Is that it? Your feathers are beautiful. Whoa, that terrible axe. I will be a warrior and a savior of things. Can we use it like an axe and a shield? I don't want to destroy the door. <laughs> Oh, gosh, you're right. Oh, curse your sunny disposition. Now it's not Freaky Friday anymore. Now it's Happy Friday. Okay, we'll take some pills. We'll see some creepy shit. This is not that creepy either. I mean, except for that guy that just scuttled by. Make an entry. Oh, well. I could try and open it and see what's inside. I can't move the top. It's stuck. Just my luck. I can't force it with my delicate hands. I need something else. Like an axe. I'll take that. Oh, a feather. Tickle, tickle. I'll keep at it. I like it. Okay, before we go down there... Let's, uh... Use axe with beetle pig. No! Wake up! The pig won't stay still. It seems that shouting and pushing him won't help. Oh no, where did the beetle pig go? Oh, there it is. It's like right in front of me. Okay. What a bluff. There's no hole in here. All my forces united to do something unnecessary. Tickle, tickle. Ah, the threat is great, great. Wake up, wake up now. I think Beetle Pig doesn't like the idea of being killed. Oh, I see, but that is completely normal, isn't it? What should, yes, but what should I do then? You have to give him the special berries. The blueberries, mm. Where do I find the blueberries? I shouldn't say this to you, but I have the right connections. They live inside my house. They have blueberries. My house is in that direction. Be careful. Oh, thank you, sir. 
Oh. No, kitty. Um, pip pip. Look, friend, I'm in danger. Find me alive. Find me dead. Pip pip. Find me someday in a golden cage. Burp. Burp pip pip. Okay. Uh, you want a raft? You want me to ask you a question? Okay. Ah. Uh, good night, Mrs. Moon. How is everything? You're very pretty tonight. I think you make a very... You make night very scary, but it's all right. A little tiny house. This is very, uh... Very, uh nursery rhyme like a coconut house mm. there's no smoke coming out of the chimney mushroomy pipe on the roof hmm why did he put a mushroom on the pipe maybe he lost it hello is somebody home Oh, uh, you know what? I see Kiwi. I see Kiwi. <laughs> Looks like a lamp is lit, but I can't see anybody. Hello? Okay. This must be the ant's house. It seems to be open, but it's very stuck. The power of destruction will take it down. Okay, she says the same things about that. Hello, I'm Fran. This looks tasty. Should I? Maybe not. Let's look at this uh, furry thing. Wow, this is a really big anthill. It's scary to think how many millions of ants must be inside. I'm not sure if I want to go inside then. Power of destruction. Oh no, I broke the door. Now I can get in. A door handle? To handle... Wait, what did that say? A handle from the big ant store. It's mine now. Okay. Oh, wait. This is perfect, but the handle won't stay on. Okay. Hmm... Even if I wanted to take the meat, I can't reach it. The meat won't come down. I have to go up. Mr. Midnight were here. He would climb up on stuff to reach it. A cozy little lamp. Uh, I think it is. I think we need to glue the thing onto the door. What a cozy little lamp. This is odd. I thought ants never cook their meals. But then again, I'm all confused, and he is not an ant. He is a man that looks like an ant, but no... He must be an ant. Um, what is this? Underpants? They smell good. Grandpa soap. Uh, gross. So, this means the big ant was naked. Um, okay. That's a horrific, uh, sentence. Hmm. Tea time, sir. The queen of meat. Wow, ant queen. I never saw anything like this. Sir Ant must be in love with her. I wonder how ant love works. It's all about the meat, I guess. Mmm, ant love. Someone forgot to clean the brush. It's firmly attached to the door. Old people are so fun. They do unexpected things. Okay, I shouldn't take people's stuff, but I, I want super glue for attachment. Okay, glue the handle. Where should I put the handle? Combine it with a door. I made a door. I wonder where it will lead me to. Yay. Okay. There is water in the sink. Maybe Sir Ant likes to drown tiny monsters in there. Maybe he's a very clean ant. Uh, your thought, your order of thoughts is an interesting. I wish I could sleep with my kitty on this bed. But I think that under this blanket will be a lot of creatures. Like bugs and such that would like to eat my brain. He 
wouldn't mind if I take a little meat for those who hunger. I already got one piece of meat. I won't touch that again. Uh... Oh, pinecone guys. Hey, it's Seba! It's Seba whittling away. The blueberries. Ow, that hurts. Sir, you look so angry. Your family is very nice, but you're a really scary guy. <laughs> what? What's wrong with me? Wow, you're very rare. Pretty pinecone, what are you cooking? Don't be scared, I just want some berries. Don't fall off the chair, be careful. Here comes your mommy to the rescue. Baby pinecone, haha, <laughs> so sweet. Hmm, I think we have to trick him, but how? Uh Okay, what do I have? <laughs> Whittling away. Uh Hmm. Okay, we'll just axe him. Some things just don't work. I mean, that would clearly work. Are there only three things we can enter? I mean, plus the berries. Hmm. Okay, so I need to distract him somehow, right? I need the berries. I think I have to trick him, but how? Oh, wait, we can interact with the floor. So I think we have to do something with the floor. Because the floor doesn't pop up as an option until we... Hmm. Until we are holding something. That's weird. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I was thinking the fire, but it didn't let us interact with the stove. Uh, sorry about that, Simon. Oh my goodness, pest extermination. I'm not taking that bag, not with all these ants on it. You have to get rid of them. So curious to see what's in the bag. I feel like I... Hmm... Can I use the door in the well? Okay, I'm going to, uh... Wait, what does this guy have to say? Sir, you have tons of ants on you. I think they're trying to steal your bag. Oh my goodness, a pest exterminator. He's dead. You tiny creatures, please don't eat me. Get off the bag. I want it. Did you eat this man's flesh? That's so repulsive. Okay. Um, oh, we need to get this, right? Can we? No, we can't get that. Okay. I'm going to assume that we don't have everything we need. Well, hello there. We saw her once before, like over... We were over here, and we saw her when we went into creepy form. Okay. So I'm going to assume we need to do something here. OK, 
Okay, this is really odd. My own door is locked. Ah. Ah, open. Why are you closed? They made it for you. Okay, so that is the right place. Ah. Huh. I command you to open. I'm your creator. I guess the door won't listen. I have to get the key. Hmm. Can't be done. Okay. Oh, what's that? Okay. Oh, creepy guy back there, too. Hmm. Okay. So, in a second, we'll have to... Oh, we need that key for the door. Oh, can we... Oh, so we need a comb. I can't cut their hair with that. Okay. So we need... Oh, you know what we can do? I think we can... I think we need to go back to the ants. I think we need to go back to the ants. So now would be a good time for Simon to look away. we go take that it worked now the bag is mine okay I think we're done we're done with the bugs okay so now let's use oh a rat trap and some sort of card okay we know what to do with the rat trap what's the card exterminator um the text is almost gone that's some numbers John Flomit 714-21728 it says exterminator. Poor tiny monsters. This bug looks seriously mad. Oh, the text is almost gone. Can we do something like this? No, we can't do that yet. So we're going to use that on the floor, clearly. Okay. I know that we just need to reach for this and we'll trap him, but I kind of want to see what happens if we push this kid down. Okay, I just wanted to know. I got you. Sorry, sir, but I really need those berries. Oh, another mom is hitting me. Bad mama. Don't fall off the chair. Be careful. This, look at this mom. She's pissed. Oh, we got it. Yes, I got them. They smell delicious. Oh no, they locked the door. <laughs> uh, probably a good call. So we got the berries. <laughs> I like how the answer was push the kid off the chair. So the mom got pissed at us and she just glared at us. We're like, <laughs> if we try to grab the berries, the mom's like, get away from the berries. I'm like, fine, I'll shove your kid in the floor. And then she just glares at me like, F you. Take the freaking berries and get out. Okay. Give him the berries. Oh, pig, did you eat my cat? Mr. Midnight, just wait. Don't die. I'll take you out of there real soon. Oh, this poor guy. Oh. Oh, it was the rat! What? You're not my cat. Oh, miss, you saved me from misery. Where's Mr. Midnight? I need the comb from the rat. I assume that you're feeling disappointed. Who are you looking for? Looking for my cat. What is the point of everything now? I was looking for my cat. Oh, Miss Lady, I'm not very fond of cats, you know. A black one with very big yellow eyes was trying to catch me. My cat is also black. Really? Wait, maybe that cat is my cat. Oh, my lady... 
If he is, then he's the one in trouble now. What happens? I can show you. Follow me, please. It's not far from here. The beetle pig is dead now, sir. Thank you. Now we eat. There was a rat. I can't, just so you know. Inside, there was no cat. There was a rat. A rat? Oh, I'm so sorry. You see, my eyes are very old. I also have heart problems and a very bad back. I also suffer from narcolepsy, and sometimes I don't... <laughs> Okay, he's sleeping. Good for him. Good night. Here we are. Somebody took him, miss. He just disappeared. Oh my goodness. Could you be more specific? I wish I could. It looked like the earth swallowed them. Okay, they're in the well. If there's anything else I can do for you, let me know. I'll be around. I need the comb. Excuse me, did you steal a hair comb? Oh, the hair comb? The shiny, beautiful hair comb? Can I have it? Please? All right, then. But can you please comb my hair first? Yes. I can comb your hair. Aw. Thank you, my lady. You're very kind. Oh, oh, let's let's check out these two maps now. This one's the same. Oh, the rat is dead in this world. Rat, who did this to you? Was it my kitty? Okay. Here is your beautiful comb, misters. Oh, it's so happy. Oh, you, Fran the person, you finally did it. Hope the key opens the door you wish to open. Now we fly south at last. Goodbye. Oh, beautiful. Goodbye, shiny misters. Have a nice trip. Okay, we got the key. And we know where to go. <laughs> it definitely is. It definitely is. I think that's, um, you know why that is, I think? I think it's the whole Uncanny Valley thing, and I think it's the re it's the same reason why clowns are creepy, and it's the same reason why, um, why people get, like, uncomfortable with people that have, like, certain psychological conditions, <laughs> is it's the not being able to accurately read or predict the emotion, right? It's not being able to gauge if something is a threat. So... You're you're looking at this and you're like you're happy but you're not but I'm not perceiving this in a way that I'm accustomed to. So it feels like it's a threat even though it's showing me opposite signs. And that's what makes it creepy as hell. What a curious little door. I wonder where it will lead me. Mr. Midnight? Are you here? Uh, gross? It sucked my eye. Chapter 2, Part 2, Double Personality. Oh my goodness, where am I? Huh? What is this? A hat? Wait, are we... Oh, this is like... Very Alice in Wonderland. Mr. Midnight? Oh no, your head! Kitty? Uh... Wait just a second. This is not my kitty. What a weird hat. Anyways, I have to find the kitty. Hope you are here somewhere. Welcome home, beautiful kitten. We hope you like your new bed. Be nice and eat your food. Love, Clara and Mia. Huh? This is not home. Guess they thought I was a cat. 
They can't love me. They don't even know me. I won't lay down in that thing. I should try to get out of here instead. With my kitty, of course, not by myself. Do I have the cat hat? No, I don't. It's fun to see what people have in their homes. Let me see. Bottles, a milk jar, dry flowers. Hmm. Nothing of interest. Are those eyes? Ugh. Maybe they like to see things, so they need more eyes. I'll, I have my pills. They make me see lots of weird things. Oh. I'll keep, the, I'll, I'll keep this to cook a lovely dinner for my kitty. You got a pot. Hmm. My head from a human, I guess. Skulls always look so happy. Maybe they haven't realized that they are dead yet. I close the window so the cold stays out. I open the window so the cold comes in. Hmm. Is that going to be for a puzzle? A painting of a teapot with a painted tea inside. Am I going to have to like burn the house down or something? <laughs> with lemon and honey. Hmm. A cooker to cook. My mommy told me how to use this. I don't like to light matches, though. It always feels like it could burn my entire face. Hmm. Spatula. Sounds like Dracula, but in a spa. <laughs> okay. Oh, a sharp, shiny knife. It can be good. Uh, it can be good to have you. To draw my little hands. I don't have any soup. I don't need a spoon. King Leo's baking soda. This always makes the biggest cupcakes. <laughs> a pine cone. I don't dare touch it. Maybe it will attack me. Flower makes me sneeze, but that's a funny feeling. Honey bear. You taste fabulous. Oh god, I used to remember these old honey containers that were in the bear. Do those still exist? Or was that just from when I was a kid? By the way, when Seba inevitably, uh, you know, Seba thinks I'm just random ages. And this game takes place in 1944. And I said that this existed when I was a kid. So no, Seba, I was not a kid in 1944. I was also not an adult in 1944. Hmm. Yummy cookies. In all colors and flavors. Mm, yummy. Cookies in all colors and flavors. They do? Uh, yeah, I haven't seen them in, in ages, but... I also haven't bought honey in forever, so. Even though I like honey. Firewood to keep the chimney warm. We're definitely gonna have to burn down this house. Poor trees. I wonder if they scream all the time while they are burning. Mr. Midnight, those girls took, they took my kitty. I don't like to be selfish, but that is my kitten. I like their blue dress though. They always have a blue dress. Well, this is a very different room than the kitchen I was just in. A secret bottle with a secret inside. I'm very curious right now. What could it be? That's a bottle? It almost looks like a shark head, but it looks like something, a, a rope holding up a rock or something. Hello, little baby. What are you doing here? Nobody loves you, but you're so pretty. I like you. At least you're on the wall, like a picture, so everybody can see you. Oh, I see. I, oh, I see you have it comfortable there, little baby. Did your mommy drop you? I bet she did, because she was sick. It's not your fault. Maple syrup. I have not had maple syrup in a long time, either. You seem fresh. Are you still alive? You're a clever little baby. You took your placenta with you. This placenta is like a jetpack of blood and nutrients. Oh, Jesus. Oh, there's the bottle. Uh, so we need to bridge this gap somehow. I can't get there from here. I need a bridge. Let me just throw a knife at that. Okay. Baking soda. <laughs> Baking soda is our currency here. Wait, wait, wait. What happens if we go up? Let's just try something. I mean, not baking soda, maple syrup. Why did I say baking soda? My brain is, uh... Ugh. 
Ugh. I have matches to light up the darkness or just for fun. They don't smell. They must be plastic flowers then. It's like Winnie the Pooh. Oh, a dancing teddy. He doesn't have shoes. <laughs> but it does have a tie. That makes Teddy happy. Oh, a dancing teddy. Okay. This looks like a plant. Hmm. The window is locked. Great. Let's just leave this running just in case. I won't sit down. Squirrel's body parts? I don't want to know how. Kitty likes to play with olives. I guess he thinks they are insects. If there's garlic, there are no vampires. Pepper, always good to dress up the soup. It won't take someone else's food. Not all of it anyways. What a pretty can. I wonder who Mush is, because he owns all the mushrooms. Oh, it opened, what's inside? What an odd little thing. It looks like a seed. This smells like a weed we had in our garden. I don't remember its name. Salt, a very good ingredient. I don't like beans that much. This bag smells funny. I won't touch it. Okay. So it doesn't look like it's filling up. This doesn't bring me any good memories. Okay. I'm going to turn that off just because it's mildly annoying. I just thought maybe it would uh, <laughs> fill up or something over time. This is very uh, The Shining. What a tiny house in the middle of nowhere. Oh, that's adorable. A walk on the beach wouldn't take so long. Looks like somebody lives there and they have a chimney. That was a mysterious woman. I like blue roses. I never saw a rose in the ocean. Maybe it's an old story. Maybe the moon gave her the rose because he loves her. I do too. Although it would suck if it uh if there was a storm or something. Her faces look so familiar. I'm not sure. Could it be? There's a lot of things to click here. This is not my cup. The teapot has no tea in it at all. Sugar in so many colors. Delicious and beautiful. Mmm. Caramel sauce all over it. The cake looks absolutely yummy. Sweet candy. Chocolate cake, my favorite. Should I? Maybe just a little. Delicious. Oh, she did have some. A vase to put some flowers in it. It has ashes inside. Hmm. Rare seed. I wonder what kind of flower will grow from it. Probably something morbid. Firewood in line to be burnt. There's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff about fire in this level so far. Cozy and warm. I could burn things here. Things that I don't need. But you never know when you'll need some things. Is that a flying pig? I wonder if any friendly animal would like to fly with us. That would be a new experience. Not that I don't have any. Now I understand what the deer wanted back in the hospital. I didn't want to get its head fixed. It didn't want to get its head fixed. It wanted its head on the wall. Silly me. Oh. Well, uh... Okay, see you later. Oh, does this whole house bring us back to this room? She's... Ah, oh, I should have talked to her. I missed my chance to talk to her. Hmm. 
Dang. Oh my goodness, the smell. Poor girl. Who could have done this and why? I need to be careful and protect my kitty and myself. Many tiny paintings. There's a cat. When I grow up, I will have lots of cat paintings on my walls. And other things too, but I'm not grown up yet. Burning candles. Jants. The Blueberry Tree, Volume 2. Antonio... Oh, look who it is! Antonio the Greatest. So that was Antonio's instruments. Or those were Antonio's instruments. Huh? Wait a minute. Is that the big ant from the woods? It could be him, only a bit younger. Jants. I think I saw that name earlier. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, yes. Oh, record player. I wonder if it works. Let's see. Oh, there, it works. Maybe I should keep it down. Okay, let's play some jance. Some jance music. Oh, a typewriter, and it works. I guess I could write, but there's no paper. And a good writer has to know what to write about first. <laughs> I mean... If you're going to criticize anything in this game, Emily, uh, the weirdest thing in this room is probably not this. It's probably a little bit over in this direction. <laughs> it can't be done. Okay, let's see. Plus this, you have to remember, Oh, there are many books and things on the shelf. You also have to remember, this is 1944. Hey, Blue Jay. I'm doing well. How are you? So many that it makes me dizzy. I'll just leave it there. Okay. Owls and cats are a bit alike. Both are curious. Both like to kill mice. And both are good companions of witches. The stairs end up in a wall. Oh. Maybe that was the door I made, and now it disappeared. I wish I talked to that creepy girl when she was there. Now I'll never know. Oh, wait. Did I look to see what was over here? Oh, wait. This probably brings me into the well again, right? Yes. Oh, nice! Okay, a broom to fly away, or just clean the house. Hey, Ozzy, how's it going? Oh, nice, how was it? Is Ozzy playing more uh, Finn and Jake's adventure? A monster who likes goats. Who doesn't like goats? Goats is the best. The goat looks angry. I guess he is ticklish or annoyed. The sisters, they look alike. Pink and blue, complete opposites. Ooh, goats! Rise of Kingdoms. I think I've seen that game, unless I'm... Oh, I'm, mi I'm mixing that up with another game, sorry. I'm mixing that up with, a, uh, with, a com with another game, Hero of the Kingdom. A drawer open, let me see what's inside. Black candles to light up the darkness. My character is getting a lot of things. A lot of things. The drawer is empty. Yeah, I've kind of gotten out of mobile gaming because I find mobile gaming in general, there there are some good mobile games out there, but I find, find as a market, it tends to be very, very, very predatory on both time and money. For, I don't know why the mobile market is so unhealthy. I think it's just that people have it, the phones with them all the time so that they can really use it to take over people's lives. Oh, nice. Red rose in a painting, huh? Oh, a ladder. Perhaps Mr. Midnight is up there. Does this put us back into the well? Ooh, interesting. So will the attic put us on top? 
Yeah, I think there's there's a lot of there's a lot of things going on with mobile gaming. I just think it's like that it's it's one of those things that they can build games that you play for very very short periods of time or very long periods of time, and you have access to all the time. Um, and yeah, there, there's a lot of things at play. A mirror, but why is my reflection not there? Hello, huh? This mirror doesn't do its job. That's a little keyhole. Maybe it's just decor. Ugh, it's that monster and so much blood. I guess I'm not the only one who can see him then. Is he holding a head? I have to be careful. This looks like a very old painting. A mommy holding two babies. I wonder. White candles everywhere. I'll lay down and sleep tight when I get back home. Aunt Grace has for sure put uh, uh, some new sheets. I love the feeling of my sleepy head on a clean pillow. I wonder what the deal is with the doll heads and roses. I guess I'll figure it out someday. Dolls are like hollow humans. Hello, doll. Who caught you? I hope this never happens to me. I guess it doesn't need to happen if I'm clever enough. Yeah, I, I'd be interested in trying some... I, I don't know. I This game is called Fran Bow. It's a, a pretty horrific point-and-click adventure. I've heard it's very, very, very good, and I'm, I'm really enjoying it so far. Ugh, these toys are so ugly. I hope they didn't hear me. I don't want them trying to catch me and kill me. Tweezers. Uh, to pick up... Oh, I missed what it said. Tweezers to pick up stuff that my tiny hands can't. Hmm, the perfume smells like teenagers. Sure thing. Uh, see you in a bit, downcomer. Thanks for hanging. Oops. I guess I'll be very girly when I grow up. Hmm, the perfume smells like teenagers. Nice stuff, very girly. Ah, water all around. Water makes me feel helpless. And because I can't swim, I'll have to navigate on something. The kitty really is afraid of water, too. Okay, let's use this, see if we fall down, which we will. But we gotta do it anyways. Yes, we did. We need something to make a bridge. We clearly are gonna bake a cake or something. But let's fully explore this house first, get all the tools. Well, that's creepy. Mr. Midnight, where are you? I can't see very well. I won't touch anything until I can see what it is. Okay, let's turn it on. Honestly, I, uh, my piece of advice would be it's best to not compare yourself to others. Um, just focus on your own thing. You know, everything takes time. Everyone uh, gets followers at different rates, things like that. If you focus too much on other people's stats, it'll just bum yourself out, and it's not really productive. So, yeah, my advice to you would just be, you know, focus on, you know, just enjoying yourself and putting time in. Okay. Mr. Rat, it's time to get up. I met another rat a while ago. Mr. Rat, are you tired, sir? Huh? That's a big umbrella. A dusty mirror and some other things. I won't put my hands inside the box. There must be like a thousand spiders in there. The toys in the attic always carry sadness with, uh, within them. It's very understandable. I wouldn't like to be abandoned in the attic. Hmm, a lot of tiny stuff. Is that an angel's head? Weird stuff you can find in an attic. Uh... I like my own dress, but those are pretty too. I guess I don't need them. I hope nobody is behind that mask. Wait, did that have a mask when the light was off? Oh, it did, okay. What a pretty doll. I like the hairstyle. Why are you sitting here? There are so many dolls to play with, but I wouldn't play with any of them. They look scary. A scorpion, scorpions make me nervous. 
They walk with their butt in the air, ready to stab you. Maybe it's a Zodiac thing. I'm a Sagittarius. Just one hat. Oh, that's a... Uh... Oh. Let's see this. The sisters. They have the same jacket that I had in the hospital. But if they are sisters, why are they so old? Okay. Oh no! Foxy, oh no! I wish I could take you out of here. What is their problem? Poor Foxy Fox. Hope someday I find a fox that isn't dead so I can talk to it. Um, that is horrifying. <laughs> it says two. That is really horrifying. Oh, hello, little babies. Who sewed you two together? Looks like it hurts. Don't cry, all right? You should smile and be nice. It's time to sleep. Yeah, that's, uh... Uh... Oh, yikes. That is, uh, horrifying. Those shoes are too big for me. A bunny doll, are you waiting for Easter? Do you lay eggs or do you steal them from a chicken? And how do eggs become chocolate eggs? So much to ask you. I wish you could answer me. Mr. Midnight, are you here, kitty? Meow. Mr. Midnight, don't be scared. I'm here for you. Fran? Is that really you? Oh, dear. Finally. It's me. Come closer, please. Let me see you. Oh, Fran, I'm so happy to see you. I missed you very much. I had dreams about you. And here you are. Thank you for not giving up. I love you, my friend. I love you too, Mr. Midnight. And I really missed you. Oh, dear Fran, how did you find this place? After those people took you away in the woods, I tried to follow them. But after a while, I got lost. My senses were too weak to track you. I tried to catch some food to recover, but... Something happened. Somebody took me and put me in this cage. Oh, my dear, I will open this cage. We need to get to Aunt Grace. Fran, I'm very tired. I wish everything was just a bad dream. Everything is going to be fine. We just have to get out of here. Fran, can I ask you something? Sure, Mr. Midnight, what is it? Did you feel my presence in your dreams? Yes, I did. You told me to take the medicine and find you. What medicine, Fran? It wasn't really me talking to you. I think somebody was helping us get together. Every time I had dreams about you, I felt the presence of something else. Really? What kind of presence? For what I felt, it wasn't human, but it was really peaceful and kind. That's the real magic. Great to have somebody else taking care of us. Fran, did you hear that? Did you? Okay, I'll see what it is. I'll try to find the key to unlock you, alright? I love you. Go on, Fran. Please get me out of this cage. Please find the key. I really wish to hold you tight, my dear Fran. Hope you can open this cage door soon. Okay, what do we have? Okay, let's see how far we fall. Okay. Oh, look who it is. Oh, you scared me. I thought nobody was living here. There you are. We were waiting for you. Where's your head? My head? My head is in the right place. You, the precious being from the other world. Who would ever believe us? Sorry, but I can't make sense of what you're saying. Fran Bo, that's your name, right? And your mom and dad died tragically. Very brutal, right? And now you really want to know who killed them, right? Slow down. How is it that you know all of this? We just know. We have to. We are part of this world. But don't be sad. Bad things happen to all of us all the time. I wish I was at home with mommy and daddy now. Don't wish for things that can't be done. Find solutions and answers. I should do that, but Mommy and Daddy will never come back. Drink some tea and eat some cake. It will make you feel better. Thank you, but really, I need to know. Who told you these things about me? Are you scared, little Fran? A little? It's odd. The way I came here and this conversation makes me so confused. 
You haven't asked about your cat yet, Mr. Midnight. That's very odd for a girl who loves her cat more than anything else in the world. And yet you look so calm after finding him in a cage, hungry and scared. What? I do follow you! What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Yeah, you're followed? Wait. You're not followed? I thought you were followed this whole time! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, that's on me. <laughs> that one's on me, Dino. I have you I had you added as a friend. <laughs> this whole time I thought I thought you were followed. <laughs> Sorry about that. I totally thought I followed you the first time I saw you. Oh, thanks, Bombshell. <laughs> yeah, I just, uh... I, uh... I was so sure. <laughs> and yet you look so calm after finding him in a cage, hungry and scared. This game is, uh... Fran Bo. It's... A point-and-click adventure that uh, horror game psychological horror game that is supposed to be really good um, your character basically wakes up in a mental hospital in the 1940s after both of your parents were killed um, and you are you escape the mental like, try to escape the mental hospital and find your cat so right now we've escaped the mental hospital and we are in a we're in a uh, a, a creepy house and our cat is imprisoned. And we have pills that if we take the pills, we can see horrific sights. But we also see horrific sights without taking the pills. Okay. And yet you look so calm after finding him in a cage, hungry and scared. Shouldn't it be us trembling in fear of you? I love him, and that is why I'm here. I didn't mean to be rude to you. You want him back? Yes, please. I really wish to have him back. He's my best friend. Before we set him free, tell us how it is you came here. Uh, which one looks nice? Her or her slash her? I, these people are kind of terrifying, to be honest. Uh, before we set him free, tell us how it is that you came here. It's a long story. I escaped from a place. A very ugly place. They open the heads of children to find out what's wrong with them. Phil told me a secret and I was clever enough to find the way out. And then I came into the woods and met a giant ant. And I killed a bug and it was terrible. And then I met a rat who wanted to get his hair done. And then I made a door and that door took me here. But when I entered the door, something else happened. I don't remember anything else. Ah. And I saw a real pinecone family. That was before I came here. They live in Mr. Antonio's house. They like berries. Ah, oh, and I saw flying insects that got stuck in trees because they have long hair. Uh. That was also in the woods. And now here I am looking for Mr. Midnight. That was some adventure. How old are you, Fran? I'm 10 years old, but I have but I have to turn 11 soon. And you? We are 16 years old, much older than you. So you have to obey us. Uh I mean, depends on what you're into, Dino. I mean, we can show you Mr. Midnight if you want. And tell me if you keep holding that opinion. I just wish you you would open the cage so I can go home with my kitty. You haven't even asked our names. That's not polite. And you shouldn't wander around in a house without permission. Are you stupid? A stupid little girl with no family at all? Not stupid. And I do have a family. I have an Aunt Grace and a kitten. Are you crying? Because if you are, you'll get in trouble. If you don't do exactly as we say, you and your cat will die. 
You understand? Yes, ladies, I'll do whatever you need. Good, now listen to us carefully. We need you to perform a little magic trick on us. Do you like magic? Uh, magic is magical. Who doesn't like magic? Anyway, that magic is very powerful. It's tremendous and dangerous. Here's the recipe. Be cautious and precise. Otherwise, terrible things can happen. Okay. We gotta look at that in a second. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. Do it yourself. We can't do it. It would kill us. You see? We weren't like this before. We, we used to be two different people in two different bodies. But how is it that you're like this now? One night a long time ago, something appeared in front of us. We thought it was an angel, but it was not. He decided that we should spend eternity together. He cursed us to be like this. We never understood why. We have a spell to bring him back. But we will do that later, when we are not attached to each other anymore. And show him that he is powerless and he will regret it. it. Sounds terrible. I'll try my best to help you. We are going to gather some things you will need for the ritual. In the meantime, you can go and talk to your cat. But we won't set him free yet. Don't even try to open the cage. If you help us, we will help him. Thank you. I'll go and talk to him. And Fran, do you see this key? Can you imagine what can be opened with it? Can you? You silly, silly girl. <laughs> okay. You want to see if Mr. Midnight is hot? Dinos. This is Mr. Midnight. This right here. That's Mr. Midnight. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Well, hello there. It's him again. I haven't even taken my pills. Well, he opened the window. Thank you, but who is he? Oh, we can go outside now. Hey, you. Yes? Who's speaking? Me. I'm a toad. I have to tell you something. Yes, what is it? You're in great danger. Don't trust the girls. Why do you say that? I mean, because obviously they're horrible. Look, girl, I'm a toad, and I know I can swim away from this place. But they won't let me every time I try to get out of here. I magically come back. This house is like a huge magnet. A toad and a cat magnet. They love us, but n not to give us love. Just to use us. Don't trust them. I won't trust them, I promise. They gave you a recipe for some kind of magic, right? How did you know that? Did you see the dead girl in one of the rooms? Well, that can be you if you try to do it. She tried, but she did it wrong. But what should I do then? Not a clever toad, but if I were you, I would be creative. Huh, creative. I'll try to do my best. And girl, please save us all. I really want to get out of here. You find a solution already? Bye. No, I will go now. Bye. A big, big rock. I'll leave it here. Oh, a, a long, woody plank. Well, we know what to do with that. A rusty old bicycle in the middle of an island. I don't think it would take me very far. There's nothing but water around this house. Doubters need the truth on paper. It's that girl. My sister is trying to catch me, but I ran away. I'm scared. Would you help me? I have a monster inside my head. Oh, okay. Doubters need the truth on paper. Hmm. Doubters. I guess some people believe you when it's written down. But what does it mean? Who wrote this? 
I have papers, yes, but what truth? Okay, we need to read that that thing. Summon the old lost body. Lost in darkness, lost in tears, your body becomes a lie through the hand of the one angel that decides to bring you sorrow. You will need the heart of a frog, the head of a young virgin, hair and blood from a black cat, a pentagram made of ashes, the burnt body of a fox. This must be cooked all together inside a pot or cauldron with plenty of water. When you are about to drink the potion, repeat these words. Manam bu kagsni o manai erg bons ir ibuer Okay, perfect. Oh, what should I do? I refuse to do this. It can't be a good thing. Maybe there's something else I can do. Okay, so obviously we need to use this. Okay, let's climb up. Hmm. Oh, I used it on the wrong step. Okay. I can't lift it. It's too heavy for me. Okay, let's use this. I cut the rope. Wonderful. Can we just hop down? There we go. The frog! No! <laughs> oh, Jesus. Um... <laughs> yeah, uh... This Freaky Friday is nothing at all like the movie, though. Ah, that's burned. Why? There's no fire. I can't touch the bottle. It really burns. Uh, what do we have? Hmm. Maybe it's bewitched for nobody to touch. What should I do now? I'm so curious. Huh. Is there anything we need to get? Or do we have the tools with us? Oh, it worked! I got the paper. This is so exciting. Okay, revealing the true soul. The world hides the truth from you. Work your soul through life, and you will understand the purpose of this act. If you try to corrupt your this essence, your soul will be hidden, and you'll never face the truth. Destroy... Hey, Sneaky Boy, how's it going? Hey, been a while. You doing well? Um, to destroy an impure soul, or give freedom to those who are trapped, you will need blood from the um, executor of the ritual, five black candles, ashes to form a pentagram, salt and pepper, a blue bloomed moonlight rose, hair from the person you want to be witch. I'm doing very well. Good to see you. Um okay, so we have three of the things we need. Blood from the executor of the ritual, a blue bloomed midnight rose, hair from the person you want to be witch. Okay, draw a pentagram with the ashes inside the black and white square. Put a lighted black candle on every point of the pentagram. Fill the cauldron with water and pour it and put the other elements in it. Boil, pour over the person you want to bewitch, and repeat the words while you walk around the pentagram. Blah 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 blah. Okay. The frog died. It's not good to eat bottles. Okay, let's get out of here. Hey, can we talk to this frog? Did you find a solution already? I don't know what to do. I'm mentally stuck. I know you have something that makes you see things that others can't. How'd you know that? I'm, I'm a talking toad. Is that normal? I don't think so. But you can talk to me. That makes you special. It's logical. You're right. But what about the things I can see then? Have you seen everything? Maybe you're missing some messages. I'll see what I can find. Okay, so we already got the thing he's talking about. 
Yeah, this game is is really interesting. Um, I've heard really good things about it. Okay. So we need a flower. We need hair. Where are we going to do the ritual? Okay, we have these. Okay, you don't want to burn the little purse. Okay, so we can't do this yet. Um, can we use... Um, if I turn the faucet on, maybe water would come out. Okay, we'll use that. Okay, water, water in the pot, ready to cook. Uh... Turn that off. Oh, I forgot to turn on the fire. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's quite windy in here. Okay, we gotta do that. Gotta do that. Especially Sans Man. Um, okay. So this is the bad one, right? Do we get a choice of which, if we do the good or bad one? I think we only get do the good one, right? Okay. Five black candles, ashes to form a pentagram. Hey, Seba! Thanks for the raid. How's it going? How was the stream? Guys, if you don't know Seba, Seba is a super entertaining streamer. Wonderful, wonderful guy. Just hit... Wait! Wait, I need to check your account real fast. I need to check. Guys, we gotta check. I just need to know. Okay. Okay. I just had to check. I had to check a thing, guys. I had to check. We're good. Pretty boring. Is it slowing down? <laughs> We're doing some Fran Bow. I know you saw a bit of this early on. Let's see. Yeah, Seba's a great streamer. I really recommend checking him out. Just hit the affiliate requirements the other day. Um, okay. Where do we set up the ritual? Oh, can we get these? No. That doesn't go anywhere, right? Let's see. Hmm. Oh, puzzle. I mean, I'm playing a puzzle game right now. <laughs> oh my goodness, the smell. Hmm. Where are the girls? Are they in here? They are not. Oh, well, hello there. Spooky little ghost. Oh, Fran, did you get the key already? Not yet. My, no, my dear, I'm sorry. Those girls are scary. They just want to utilize me. They cut hair from me and took some blood. Oh, my dear. I think they're witches, wicked witches, you know? Like in the stories we like to read. You're right. Yes, you're absolutely right. I don't know what to do. I don't know, Fran. What did those girls tell you? They told me they weren't attached to each other before. And that they will get revenge against the one who did this to them. And they also showed me a key. I'm pretty sure it's for the cage. They have the evil inside. I mean, maybe that, that someone had its reason. Uh, actually, I don't want to do that. I guess we have to fight evil with evil. There must be something. Something that we can do that they're really afraid of. I don't know. I'll see what I can find. See you soon, my dearest. Okay. Okay. 
So we need the... Okay, let's look at this. Let's look at this. We have a knife, a crayon, a... Uh, we have baking soda, salt, and pepper. We have ashes, a seed. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I think I think we, we can do something with the seed. A broom, an extermination note, matches, and candles. Okay, so we probably have to plant this outside, right? <sighs> okay, let's close that. Why are you always so creepy? Oops, that was an accident. Maybe. Hmm. Oh, roses. I didn't see the roses there. Can we just pick the roses? Pink roses. Ooh, I pricked my little finger. Bad roses. Okay. I guess we need to get those. Hmm. A blue bloomed moonlight rose. Blood from the executor of the ritual. Hair from the person you want to be witch. Draw a pentagram with ashes inside the black and white square. Hmm. Okay, we put put the uh, lighted candle on the pentagram. Fill the cauldron with water and put the other elements in it. We put those in it. Boil, pour over the person you want to bewitch. And repeat the words while you walk around the pentagram. Hmm. Okay, black and white square. You've, you've played this game, uh, Sneaky? Oh, there's a black and white square. Hmm, why is this part painted in black and white? Maybe they didn't have enough to paint everything. Okay. Wow, this worked out great. Nicely done, Fran. Okay, we'll use that. Put one candle here, blah, blah, blah. We'll light that. Okay, candles are lit. All right, let's do this. Okay, we got that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. They don't smell, they must be plastic. This looks like a plant. Hmm. Let's just see what we need to get again. Blood from the executor of the ritual. Who's the executor of the ritual? Is that me? A blue bloomed moonlight rose and hair from a person you want to be witch. Oh, Seba. Seba. You're already VIP though. Perfume smells good. Okay, hmm. Oh, right, there's the keyhole up there. Probably doesn't matter. Okay, do I have anything that could... Oh, we have a broom. Hmm. Baking soda. Why would we need baking soda? Yeah, it said it smells like teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> nice stuff here. Yeah. Hmm, this perfume smells like teenagers. 
And earlier, I, I smelled underpants, and it says it smells like... What did it say? It was like, smells like grandpa. I like this or something. I was like, what? What? Huh. Hmm. You guys want to see something horrific? That's horrific. Uh, <laughs> uh, hmm. <laughs> yeah, that that is one of the the most horrific things. You find that like stitched together Siamese twin, and then it starts crying as you look at it. Because it's in pain. It's like, ugh. Okay, we need to plant the flower somewhere. The seed. What happens if we open this now? Okay. Hmm, because we can clearly sweep something up. We have a broom. Yeah, although the roses were red, right? We needed blue roses. Not sure what to do with this. Use a broom with... Oh, you know what we might have to do, though? Wait, reflection? Did I, did I see it say reflection somewhere? We might have to use the knife on ourselves. Uh, there might be, actually. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, we got our own blood. Ouch, that hurt, but now I have my blood. Okay. So we now have an extra thing. Okay, so let's go... You know, we'll wait till we get everything. We have a bloody knife. Huh. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that's so cursed in this. Uh... Because I feel like we have to use this seed somewhere. Hmm. Oh, what's this? I never saw this. Moonlight on the water. You're so beautiful and calm. I feel like the moon is following me. I wonder if the moonlight does the same job as sunlight. There we go. There we go. I never saw that. Okay, we got the blue rose. So now we just need hair from the person we want to bewitch. So is the person we want to bewitch the twins? Hmm. Hmm. Where would a hair comb be? It would probably be in this room, but I didn't see a hair comb. I'm guessing we have to do something with a broom, honestly. I think we have to probably sweep up. We have to sweep up something probably, right? Let's go downstairs.
Dismembered girl. I'll just broom her under the rug. There are ashes by the fire. It doesn't look like they're interactable, though. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, that was... Wait. There's something interactable beside it. Oh, that's the chocolate cake. A broom to take me up, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna put a pause on the on the broom thing. Let's just get the things in the pod that we know we need, okay? So, we need blood in there. There's my blood. I hope it tastes good. Tra la la. We need a rose in there. Goodbye, blue rose. It's in the pot now. We need salt and pepper in there. Salt and pepper into the magical soup. Why do we need baking soda? Blood, black candles, salt and pepper, boom, moonlight rose, pentagram, hmm. Baking soda. Can we just ruin this? Can't be done. So we have baking, we have, we have baking soda and we have a broom. And I have no indication of what to do with those. We still have our match too. Now let's see, what's there left to do? All right, let's do this. I'll get my kitty back. Hmm, hope it works. It should work, they are evil. But I'm a bit scared, I've never done these kind of things. Uh, the second set of stairs, I cannot go up. Because it says it goes up into a wall, unless it has changed. The stairs end up in a wall, yeah. <laughs> You're very sure that Android slash Twitch is listening. Oh, why? The pills pop me, regardless of the room, they pop me into this place. Unless I'm outside. Oh, really? That's, that's disturbing. The only exception, the only exception to that that rule is out here. Oh, can we get it from her? Negative. See, there's a broom on her. Broom this girl away. Baking soda this girl away, or baking powder. Doubters need the truth on paper. Yeah, you can. I'm scared, would you help me? I have a monster inside my head. My sister is trying to catch me, but I ran away. Did you find a solution already? I'm mentally stuck. I don't know, I'm mentally stuck. I know you have something that, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's get, uh, okay. This guy's not gonna tell us anything. You're missing some messages. I'll see what I can find. We've already talked to him. He's basically just telling us to get the thing. Okay, we need to find hair. If you use the pills upstairs, it just drops you into the well. Oh, maybe we can do something here. This is not my cup. This is not my cup. Hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, friend, did you get the key already? Not yet. Oh, my dear, I'm sorry. Those girls are scary. They just want to utilize me. They cut hair from me and took some blood. Oh, my dear. I think they're witches. Wicked witches. You know, like in the stories. Right. I don't know what to do. I don't know, Fran. What did those girls tell you? They told me they weren't attached to each other before, and they will get revenge again uh, against the one who did this to them. Also, they showed me a key. I'm pretty sure it's for this cage. They have evil inside. I mean, maybe someone... Uh, okay, change their minds. You think we can do something to change their minds? This is the opposite of what I said before. There must be something. Something that they are really afraid of. Okay, he's basically saying the same thing. I don't know. I'll see what I can find. Maybe... Let's turn this off for a second. Okay, we'll turn this on. Ah, oh, dang it. Where are those twins, anyways? Where are the girls? Ah. Oh. Yes, Simon, you just looked at the most horrifying part of the game. Oh, let's see this. The sisters, they have the same jacket that I had in the hospital. <laughs> One hat. Oh, dang it, I can't get hair from that hat. Oh. God, I feel like it's gonna be the baking powder or the broom. You can get this chocolate, right? Blah, 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 delicious. We still have the matches. Typewriter and it works. Can we use paper on it? Hmm. Oh, that's how we do it. Oh, what should I do? Okay. Can we write on this one too? Okay. Can we write on this? So we need to give this paper to them somehow. Huh. We can't just like leave it on the table. Okay. Oh, would you look at that? Fran, here are all the materials you'll need. Have you studied the ritual? Yes, but I'll need uh, more time. I can't remember all the words. Well, learn them fast. Let us know when you're ready. Hey, I, uh... Psst, girl. I think you'll need help getting rid of this bag. I can do that for you. But I may need it. No, you don't. Trust me. If we want to get out of here. This bag must disappear. I'll take it. You didn't see me. Bye. Okay. Look, ladies, there's something missing. I couldn't find your hair in the bag. Hair, you say? There's no hair needed. We know that. You may have forgotten. You said I had to follow the recipe very strictly. That's true. How could we miss that? All right. There. Now get prepared. Okay. I'll let you know when I'm ready. Okay. Okay. So we have everything we need now. Um, I wonder if we need the baking soda and broom for later, or if that's a red herring. 
Um, I think they said something to the effect of if they do it, the guy will harm them or something. They need to do it when they're separated. Let's go out and look at this frog real fast. You find a solution already? Bye. Okay. Use that on there. Okay, now the hair, good. I should show the girls that the potion is ready. First things first. Do I need to do I need to remember these words or is it fine? I'm going to take a picture just in case. <laughs> Let's see. Draw a pentagram while uh, blah, blah, blah. We've done that. We've done that. We've done that. Pour over the person you want to be witch. Okay. Wait. What did she say? All right, let's do this. Okay, we got to talk to him. Everything is ready. Let's go to the kitchen. Good, let's go. Please sit down and close your eyes, ladies. Okay, now to pour boiling water on their heads. And now I'll say the words. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Bader, Egram, Ara, Begma, O, Ibir, Nam, Ibir, Erg, Bonshead, Er, Ekran. Begma, Hoffma, Mid, Diamond, Goffma, Ibir, Equitimius, Ernim, Bomb, Blah. Wait a second. That's not the right spell. You tricked us. Dang. Yay! We did it! What have I done? Oh my goodness, this is not right. The key, now I can free my dear kitty. I'm nervous. I won't even try that. Perfect. Okay. And now we can just live here, and we're fine, right? This beautiful house with lots of cake. Wait, this door's closed again? What is it, Fran? Open the cage. I can't. The key doesn't fit. Did you see another keyhole somewhere? Yes, I did. Yes, I saw one. I'll see if it fits there. I'll be waiting. Hurry up. The key was for a keyhole. And what's that? A puzzle? Damn it. Is this timed? Huh? This one can't be moved. Hmm. Oh, God, wait. Oh, this one can't be moved either. Okay, we'll do this. We'll get this out of here. We'll get this down. Um, how do I want to do this? Uh Oh, is this is this one that everyone hates?
Okay, let's see. So does this have a very specific gear formation? That's my question. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. Does this need to like connect down there? It lets you do it however it fits. Okay. So let's do something like, it's not spinning. That's not spinning either. It has to be connected. Okay. So this one's the weird one. Oh, wait a second. Okay, let's let's try something. Uh, I mean, I guess that was redundant, those moves I did. Oh, I don't want to do that. Will this spin? What makes it spin? Like, you need all of them in place before they start to spin? The mechanical thing, it rotates. It must be some sort of engine. Okay, let's... Uh, here. We'll do something like this. Oh! It's going! Okay. So that needs to go there. Um, you know what? Can we... Uh, we need that there. Will that spin? That doesn't spin. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to put this over. Uh, that's not actually great. Okay. Actually, we should do this. We should get this over here. Okay. There we go. We're getting it to start working. I think we got this. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. This, this puzzle is not too bad. Um, puzzles like that aren't bad as long as... Um, as long as it's not, like, in a very specific formation. Um, like, if it's not an exact formation. 
Uh, like, there were a bunch of those in Tormentum when we played that game. Okay. Sister, promise, we, Clara and Mia uh, Buhalmet, promise to revenge the unfair destiny Itward. Oh, Itward, we saw that earlier. Uh, the unfair destiny Itward decided for us. With blood and tears, we promise that we will kill him and bring our bodies back. We won't stand this any longer. Even though we are sisters, we hate each other, and we will always hate each other. Nothing will ever change that, but now, with our bodies attached to each other, we can't complete our task. The strongest will live forever, and the weakest will die. Mother must die. And look, it's duotine. But these are the yellow pills, not the ones that we have. Oh dear, this must be the key to the cage, finally. <laughs> duotine, my pills are called duotine too. My pills are not called duotine. My pills were replaced. My pills were called like endotrine or something. Hmm, but they got the yellow ones. I wonder what the what's the difference? I think they were they replaced the label on my pills, is what the note said. That's a blue rosette, I like it very much. Hmm. Let me see this. Who's it word? Eh. These girls are very strange. I wonder why they hated each other so much. Oh, the sisters have a huge scar in the middle. That's scary. Maybe they were different, two different persons after all. Huh. The bed and the bed and floor look so familiar. Okay, so they were at the. They were at that place too. Oh, two-headed doll. It must be really old. It's also quite dirty. I guess it's because it was played with a lot. My toys are also a bit dirty. I miss playing with my dollhouse. A pink rosette. Pretty hair decoration. Shiny stuff. It looks like a necklace. Pearls, I guess from a broken necklace. So I have a question. So, you know, traditionally, um, people would give, like, blue to boys and pink to girls. Do you think that one was born boy, one was born girl, and then they sewed them together and, and raised them as daughters or something? Uh, sneaky boy. Well, I have to go. Oh, sure thing. Uh, take care, sneaky boy. Have a great day. Yeah, I, it was reversed, right? Uh, so this, I don't know when when it was reversed. I've, I've heard that it was reversed, but I don't know how long ago that happened. Because uh, this game is 1944 from what I've seen. Oh, look, it's a doll now. And we just got an achievement called Hello, Dolly. Uh, 1940s Europe and the United States, pink is often associated with girls, where blue is associated with boys. Colors were first used as gender signifiers just prior to World War I for either girls or boys. And pink was first established as a female gender signifier in the 1940s. Interesting. Oh, a sleepy doll. Would you please sing for me? Ah, uh, you don't want to? Huh. That's okay. I can sing for myself. Interesting. Go on, Fran. Please get me out of this cage. Find the key. Deal. I think this is the key. It worked. My dear kitty, it worked. Come out. Let me hug you. Okay, is, is the big creepy guy going to come and attack us now? Or what's going to happen? Oh, this feels so good. I'm free, Fran, my good friend. You're free, my dear. Now it's time to go home. Yes, let's go. We need to get home, Kitty. I hope the way back home isn't far away. I hope so too, Fran. We can do this together. Let me help you. Okay. Here, let's fall into the ocean. I mean, the, the well.
Okay, let's see if we can uh, bike away. Okay, the water is still there as normal. Let's talk to this guy. I did it, Sir Toad. The girls are gone. That is perfect. Now I can leave this place and go to my family. I want to do that too, sir. I finally found my kitty. I just want to go home now and be with Aunt Grace. But how will you get out of here? There's no boat. I thought you could help us get out of here. I would love to help you, but I'm too tiny. Even though my body is quite moldable. It would be impossible to carry you both to the other side. Let me think about it. Don't leave us uh, yet, please. What do we have? Oh, that's the dude. Baking soda, match, huh. <laughs> Mr. Midnight, do you have some ideas on how to get out of this place? I'm sorry, I don't. Maybe somebody else has some ideas. A rusty old bicycle in the middle of an island. I don't think it would take me very far. Hmm. I keep saying baking soda. It's baking powder. Nothing? Of course. What was I thinking? Uh, what did this say again? Uh, oh, yes. You're our kitten. You're our pet. Hmm. We have a broom. We have a broom. We have a crayon. We have... Wait. Baking soda, it says on it. But if we examine it, it says baking powder. All this sneaky little game. No wonder I keep getting confused. Exterminator. Ah... Uh. Do we need to make, like, a raft or something? Like... Firewood... Can we go up here now? Stairs end up in a wall. Look at these guys. What is this? Two skeletons. They're kind of small, like me. I can imagine who these two were, but I'm not a killer. Okay. Hmm. This is a horrifying room. Those melted doll heads. Ugh. Do we have everything we need? Is there a reason why you're scratching on the ground there? Probably not, right? Okay. I have no clue right now. I have no clue what we're doing. Hmm. I did it, Sir Toad. The girls are gone. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to go home to my family. I can't swim and Mr. Midnight is so afraid of water. I'd love to help you, but I'm too tiny. Okay. Hmm. 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 
Maybe someone else has some ideas. Who else? Because th th we're the only two. Even though my body is quite moldable, it would be impossible to carry both of you to the other side. Is that a clue? Take this, Toad. It may help. Not a bakery bun. But you are all slimy and soft like dough. You're right. It may work. Here goes. Uh, okay. It worked. It really did. I'm just so big and I feel so gorgeous. Great, let's go. Come on, Mr. Midnight. Sure, Fran. I have only one complaint. That giant toad is staring at me. He wants to help. What are you talking about? He wants to help. That's all. All right, if he tries anything, I'll scratch him. Like, his eyes are so pointy now. That's okay. But try not to hurt him so much while we're sitting on him. The water is deep, and we don't know what kind of creatures are in there. If we fall in the water. We could die, kitty. Oh, I promise I won't scratch the toad. Let's go. Hey, girl, before we go, I forgot to give you something. I saw you in this picture. I thought it was yours. And this book was with it, too. Leon. Oh, Toad, you found my family photo. Thank you very much. I thought I had lost it forever, but the book is not mine. Oh, well, take the book as a gift. It's always healthy to read. It has many pictures. Wow, thank you. I like pictures. Well... Let's go now. Yes, here we go. Hold on tight. Oh, jeez. I like the face. Like, oh, God, what is this guy? Okay, it looks like I think we beat chapter two, maybe? Oh, my God, is this Frogger? Is this Frogger? Well... Yes! Toad on board. We just got the achievement. Yes! Frogger segment. <laughs> that was unexpected. Here we are. Jump off me now. Let's go, kitty. Well, now it's time to go home. I hope you find your family soon, Sir Toad. Thank you. You too. Farewell. I'll go back to his family and he'll be like, hey, Papa's home. And they're like, what the hell happened to you? Goodbye, sir. Thank you for the ride. Fran, what should we do now? Find the way back home, Kitty. Do you see the sky? It's dawn and really soon all the scary things will disappear. Oh, I'm so hungry and sleepy. I want to go home now. Me too, Kitty. We'll find the way. I'll do my best to help you, my dear. Let's go. Crystalline water. You're so pretty. <laughs> okay. Oh, kitty, what will be the first thing you do when we get home? Eat, of course. Eat until I fall asleep. And you? <laughs> I think I would like the same. Okay, let's see. What's here? Oh dear, a baby skeleton. This game has so many dead babies. Beautiful flower. Did you tell me the way back home? I guess they won't talk to me. Hmm. I guess they didn't make it in time. Good night and sweet dreams. Oh dear, this bridge looks pretty scary. Oh, Fran, come on. We have to go home. There's no time to be afraid. Yes, but I'm a bit afraid of heights. 
Um, I can go first, all right? Then you follow me. All right, kitty, you're so sweet. I'll be right behind you. Wow, what a tree. It has so many roots, it looks like arms. I would love to have a conversation with a tree someday. Oh, you guys again? They're sleeping. Maybe they're not stuck. Well, I hope they have their hair comb. Sir, are you curious? Are you the curious insects that get stuck? Okay. Is this gonna fall? Fran, wait. What a troll. That guy's a dink. Oh, my dear. I can't hold it anymore. I don't want to die. You won't die, my friend. Come on. You can do it. Jump. All right. Here I go. I got you. Fran, no! Don't be afraid, Fran. We always fall. And after the pain, we will always rise. Oh, dear Aunt Grace, don't ever leave me. Don't cry, my little girl. Your heart is pure, but your mind is tormented. You have to stay and walk your own path. Please, Aunt Grace, why won't you take me out of here? Please. You'll just leave me all alone like my mother and father did. I'm sorry, my dear Fran. You will soon understand. And Grace, no, don't go. Please. Please. Fran, it's time for your new medicine. What happened? Where am I, Fran? Where are you? Do I take do I take control of this guy for this chapter? Oh, interesting. Fran's shoe. Ah, oh, what an ugly tree! I'll scratch you, evil thing. Kitty, kitty, stop it! What are you talking about? Fran, my darling, is that you? It can't be. What is it, my dear? Of course it's me. Who else would I be? Fran, you are a tree. Don't be silly. Help me get up. Wait just a second. Where are my hands? Why can't I move? I'm telling you, my dear, you've become a tree. What? But how? Oh, my dear, this was the end of the line. The big monster did this. I know it. Kitty, he won't let us go home. I hope he won't come back. He was very scary. He always comes back. I think I remember him from that night that mom and dad died. Kitty, I don't want to talk about it. I just want to go home. But you are a tree, my friend. A tree. I can't carry you all the way back home. Besides, I'm not sure where we are either. Am I going to die, Kitty? Tell me. Please don't say that, Fran. Please don't leave me. I feel so weak. Omka inima hola. Kolke, kolke igrunma. 
Hasku Harula Ni Igni Jokul Vanti Ah, be careful, sir. Why are you attacking me? Could you please tell me where I am, sir? Hola, Kolka, Hola. Stop it, I'll scratch you. Hola, Radma, Igni. What are they saying? Oh, my kitty. Why is this happening to us? Hola. Stop attacking me, please. Please, I mean no harm. Hola, Igni Vanti. Kitty, help me. Find my purse, please. Maybe I can do something about this. I'll see what I can do, Fran. Did you find the purse already? I think these creatures want to kill me. Where is the purse? I have no idea, but do you remember my mother's purse? Well, that one. I'll be right, I'll find it, my dear. I'll be right back. Fran's shoe. Stop attacking my friend, Carrot. These are Fran's stockings. This is a wooden boat. This chapter feels so tonally different so far. An old vegetable sitting on a boat. What a strange shape. What is it? I hear something coming from it. They speak. It may be a city. God, this kind of got me to want to play the game Loom. Oh my god. Loom. Loom would probably be impossible to run. I'll keep looking. Okay. I wonder if I could just DOS box Loom. Oh, I'll take this stone. It's shiny. Oh, I see my friend's purse. Ah. I got the purse only because I'm the best. I don't need that anymore. I like the adorable face here. Brad, my darling, I got the purse. That's amazing. You're the best, Mr. Midnight. Now, show show the sir who is attacking me my family picture. Maybe he understands what a human is. I really hope he does. This is a mysterious book. I can't read it. Okay. Onam Nihawaka Ah Ranma Paskin Oltau. Huh? Where are you taking me, Sir Vegetable? They want to help you, Fran. I can feel it. Luke Ranma Ipo. Don't be afraid, my friends. Kitty, stop them, please. Don't leave me. I will be right here with you. Galopma, Galopma. That's, this is like very semi-dark adventure time right now. Chapter 3. Vegetative State. Get it? Get it? They're vegetables. ba -dum -ch. Hmm. It's been bal meno kaist ba zair ni haula onam ershmau iptem gorska Imatin Ulfriol Agorska Zaire Aul. Welcome, creature. My name is Zayar. Do you speak human? Oh my goodness, yes. Finally, words I understand. My good friend Ride told me that you showed him an illustration. With four humans and a cat. I assume you are one of them. A little girl. Please forgive my good friend if he scared you. We have never seen a human looking like a tree before. Yes, let me explain it to you. Ho ho ho. No need to speak, my child. The seed will show me everything. Iptum monokais decto. Ecto pro. Ecto prot. Let me see. You are good. No doubt about that. 
a seeker of the truth. Very common of the Bow family tree. Ah, your name is Fran. You are the girl with the passion for life. I see great love towards this little creature standing next to you. A cat, protector of gates. Interesting. You can see all that? Can you see all that in a seed? Be quiet. I see something else. The seed doesn't hide anything. I see a world nobody should see. Nobody except for one. What do you mean by except for one? You mean the monster? You are not supposed to be here, Fran. That is certain. That is one thing I can tell you, my child. I understand, but can you help me then? We can't let you leave now. It's too dangerous for us. You should never have been aware of our existence. There must be a way. Am I dead or something? Dead? What do you mean by that? You know, when you no longer exist. Besides, it's not normal to be a tree. I must be dead. Death is nothing more than the absence of love. Once you can't feel love, you die. Even if your body still walks. Then I'm not dead. You have to help me get back home. Little cat, come closer. Let me see you. What is your name? My name is Mr. Midnight. That is indeed a very pretty name. Do you think Fran should go back home? Yes, I do, sir. Show us the way back home, I implore you. Ah. I have a question. Are you the king? Ha <laughs> ha You are hilarious. Yes, I am the king. The king of Ithursta. Oh, what an honor, your highness. By the way, I like your leaves. They are very pretty. King, sir, please, will you help me? Why is this need of going home so great? The seed told me of your story. You don't have much to go back to. There are many reasons, sir. But the most important is my aunt. She will protect me. I want to feel that somebody cares about me. I feel confused almost all the time. I want to be someplace where I feel at home, sir. I see. You are very brave. I just want to go home. Please help me. There are things I cannot do, but I will help you. I will lead you to the door that will take you home, but it's your own task to walk through it. Really? Oh, thank you so much. And where is this door, sir? We'll talk about that later. First things first, you must be able to talk and walk on this land. Yes, sir. That would be very good. I'm afraid I won't be able to bring your human body back. Only the great wizard can do that. But we'll talk more about him after the procedure. You must first understand our language. But how will I ever understand your language? Eat this fruit. Oh, that's gross. Your ears and tongue will be able to understand. But not your eyes. That means you won't be able to read. Doesn't this tree kind of look like the ice wizard from Adventure Time a little bit? Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. I can always ask. Excuse me. You understand what I say, human lady? Yes, I do. You sound so kind. This is incredible. Do you understand my kitty? I didn't, your highness. I demand one fruit for myself. You don't need the fruit, Mr. Midnight. Our land is based on fragrances and sound. You'll see everything as, as your own world very soon, no doubt about that. You'll do fine, kitty. And sir, do you know why I became a tree? Yes, but I don't think I'm the right one to give you the answers. Now, it's time for the procedure. Are you afraid of heights? A little, yes. I get dizzy. Why? Take her upstairs immediately. Where are you taking me? What are you going to do to me? To get some arms and legs, everything will be fine. I'll be waiting for you, Fran. I love you. Aw, little beetle guy. <laughs> this game is a lot more effed up than I was expecting, to be honest. Good day. My name is Palantris. 
and I'm your doctor today, at your humble service. Are you the emergency case? Wow, amazing. What a huge, beautiful, fluffy thing. Excuse me. This kind of looks like a half axolotl, half fish. But it's got like the axolotl head. Excuse me? Oh, I'm sorry. It's just that I've never seen anything like you before. I'm still trying to understand that all of this is real. My name is Fran. I'm a human girl. The king sent me here to get some arms and legs so I can go home. Oh, a human. I think we can get you a pair of arms and legs. But we'll have to travel a little bit further in order to fix that. Are you ready to enter the paws of the beast? What beast? Me. I'm the beast. Let's go. I, I, I was just saying it looks like one. Here we are. Wow, that place is so beautiful and peaceful. I wish I could be here forever. Thank you. This is my home. This is where I was born. <laughs> the spirit of the great Avalokas created it. It has the purest water in the whole universe. Oh wow, that sounds amazing. Who is the great Valokos? Haven't you heard about the five realities? He is the king of the first reality. A long time ago, he was at war with the darkness, and one day he fell. He fell so badly, his heart was broken, and he was all alone. But he came to a thirsta, and his body made the water pink. Hey, Simon, did you know that this week, or this past week, um, they added an update to Minecraft that adds axolotls to the game. That is why it's so pure. It's a very long story. Wow, that sounds grand. I mean, I didn't know about other realities. And how is it that you are here? What brought you to Athursta? My kitty and I were on our way back home. I was so happy to see him and hug him again. Then we fell. The big monster that follows me did this. He broke the bridge. He wants me dead. Who would like to see you dead? That sounds terrible. I prefer not to talk about this. But Sir Doctor, you know why I became a tree? Yes. Something our wishes are... Uh, sometimes our wishes are so strong that they become true. You did this in order to keep yourself alive. Think about it this way. Your human body was destroyed. But you wanted to keep being Fran. You wanted to keep your life. So you took on this empty shell to maintain all your precious memories with you. It is actually the first time I've seen a human using a tree as a chrysalis. But it's dangerous to have you here. It makes our land vulnerable. I did this to myself. I did this to myself? Wow. But Palantras, sir. How? I didn't know I was doing anything. You really didn't know what you were doing. I see. Well, when you traveled to Athursta, you opened a door between your reality and ours. And with this door open, unexpected creatures can also enter our reality. And if that happens, the balance will be tainted. And there is only one who would like to poison the second reality. The monster. The terrible black. I can see this happening again. I can't see this happening again. I just can't. Don't be sad, doctor. I'm very sorry for what I did. I didn't mean to. Oh, little girl. You are so nice. And you don't have anything to be sorry for. I think you're very special. But let's concentrate on your arms and legs, all right? Hmm. Yes, doctor. Soldier of the sun. Spirit of the water. Give Fran her arms and legs. How do you feel, Fran from Athursta? Wow, I feel like a beautiful tree. I have leaves. I'm glad you like it. I told you we would fix it. The water is magical. It can fix anything. Anything? You think it could fix my mommy and daddy? 
What do you mean, fix them? What's wrong with them? Nothing, doctor. Thank you very much for helping me. You're the best doctor I've ever had. And you're fluffy and beautiful. I had another doctor before. His name was Dr. Dearn. But he was an evil old man. Old man. Hmm. I bet he wasn't that bad. Maybe he was just following the rules. Let's go now. I'll leave you at the station. Oh! Good morning slash afternoon, goats. You missed all the horrific stuff, and now we're in Happy Land for a moment. Here we are again. Show Zyre the king what a nice Etherstanis you've become. Thank you again, Doctor. You have to meet my kitty someday. That would be lovely. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. But I'm guessing I can't take pills here. You fluffy kitty. Ah, do you like that? Haha. <laughs> here I am. Fred, my dear. You've got leaves on your head. How pretty. Oh, let me see you. What a great it <laughs> Ither Stannis you've become. Thank you, King, sir. The doctor is incredible. He made magic with the water. But he was sad. He told me many things, but I didn't quite understand. Don't worry. Palantris will be fine. I know their reasons. We have some problems to solve, but that's nothing you should worry about. Let's talk about how you can get back home, right? Yes, please. You said something about a great wizard. Yes, the great wizard is the only one who is able to bring your human body back. And he has the stones that can open the door that will lead you home. Where is the wizard? What stones? This land is full of things I don't understand. <laughs> you haven't even gone outside this castle, and you already want to know everything. That's the passion I was talking about. Have patience, Fran. The great wizard lives in the great mountain Kotrim. But we haven't seen him for a while now. Find him, and everything will be just fine. Why haven't you tried to find the Great Wizard yourself? Well, we don't need to. It's very logical. You see, we don't need a wizard to perform magic or prepare potions. We can do that ourselves. The wizard's most valuable task is to protect the stones that open the door. I see. So the stones are like keys. And where is this mountain? He said. You have to ask around. Follow the signs. I have to go now. But I'll be back in time to help you with the door. Have a great Ithirsted day. Oh, look. And good luck finding the great wizard. Wow. Did you see that huge fluffy, fluffy creature, kitty? That's Pelotras. He fixed me. Yeah, really. Yes, it's certainly, it's certainly very fluffy. Oh, I forgot. Here's your purse. Oh, thank you, kitty. Do you see my pills anywhere? I don't think so. Maybe they are on the other side of the lake, next to your clothes. Um, well, we have other things to do anyway. We have to find the wizard. Yes, the king said something about a mountain, too. Yes, the mountain Kotrim. The great wizard lives there. Let's go. You told me we have to find Mount. Okay, yes, we do. The throne of the king. I wonder if it's comfortable. I wonder why kings are always sitting. Maybe that's the only truth. To be a king, you must be seated. Oh, these flowers are huge. I wonder if they taste good. Hmm, it tastes like honey. So we got to imagine that, um... This kingdom is effed, right? Like, this kingdom is going to get screwed because of us, right? It looked tasty. But, uh... I want to be hungry when I get home. So I can eat my dinner. Because I know Aunt Grace will make a dinner when I get back. Okay, we have the picture. Oh, we can probably look at this now. I found myself hunting the truth, but finding the unexpected. Oh, wait, what do we see out there? Oh, it's a dude on a flying on a boat. Okay, sorry. I found myself hunting the truth, but finding the unexpected. I found what my senses couldn't show me. I found the truth that relays silently, 
and the unknown. Leon Castillo, uh, Castillo, Castillo, whatever. One of the thousand. Hmm, many faces. This looks intriguing. Are the faces crying blood? Leon Castillo, one of the thousand. I wonder what that means. July 11th, 1908. My name is Leon. I'm currently 92 years old and living alone in the little house far away from the city. I have to admit, I, I never was fond of jewelry, houses, or clothing. Since childhood, I always talked to animals, plants, and insects. And even though I never got a response, I never quit. If you are reading this, maybe it's because you are looking for answers. Maybe you can see things that others can't, or you feel what others avoid. Um, you can listen to the silence and become one with everything. Mr. Leon is old, and he seems sad. Maybe you can see things others can't. Yes, that sounds a lot like me. Interesting. Seems sad. Hmm, let's see what he wrote. Uh, December 17th, 1875. I can't stop it. I can't control it. I see the black shadows everywhere. The blood, the messages, the screaming, all the pain. I can't figure out why this is happening to me. Black shadows. I can see them too. They are everywhere. Cry because it hurts. Inside my head, the stone of wisdom. Inside my head. December 19th, 1875. Wait. Interesting. July and December. Because before it said July 25th and December 17th, right? <laughs> December 17th and July 5th was what the code was. And this is December 17th. This is July, but it's not July 25th. Oh, okay. wait. December 19th, 1875. I had a vision. I'm still breathing my fear. I'm, I'm still breathing fear. I feel at war with my own mind. One of the shadows came down from the sky. I thought it was an angel. Its name is Remar, Prince of Darkness. From the fifth reality. It talked to me. Played with me. And showed me all the terrors. It told me that I was the key to its existence. Cry because it hurts. Hmm, creepy. Oh, the monster is making other people sick, too. Inside my head, the stone of wisdom. January 13th, 1876. And sure thing, Simon. January 13th, 1876. I can see myself around. Uh, I can see myself around. The other me. Tell me lies. Uh, talks about all the pain and suffering in my life. The other me wants me to commit suicide. He smiles while pronouncing the words, kill yourself. And I have tried, hypnotized by his words, but there is always something saving me in the end. It must be the the love to live. Poor Mr. Leon. I like the drawings, though. Ah, oh, that's nice. It must be the love to live. January 15th, 1876. I met a shadow. For the first time, it talked to me. Kamalus. Uh, the race is called the Kamalas. They hunt weakness and pain. I asked it about the possession of human bodies, and it said, We are born and feed from fear and the uncontrolled illness of human mind. We are invisible to them. Uh, but our existence grabs every single living cell of the body until the end. Oh, so these are the guys we saw. Um, they hunt weakness and pain. I asked it about the possession of human bodies and it said, we are born and feed from fear and the uncontrolled illness of human mind. We are invisible to them, but our existence grabs every single cell of the body until the end. After that, it started raining and it walked away from me, leaving a black oily path after it. I believe water may purify them. Ugh, this creature. I wonder why people can't see them. They exist and make people sick. Maybe that's the point. To realize they exist and get rid of them. January 16th, 1876. After seeing the Kamalas reacting uh, to water, I thought of trying a little experiment. Last night, I encountered something amazing. 
the Kamala is transformed into a new kind of creature when exposed to water. The metamorphosis was painful to watch. After the terrible screaming, the Kamala's calmed down and started to cry on the ground. It felt like the pain was disappearing. After a few minutes, a bright and peaceful being was rising in front of me. So, is this like that that woman I saw in the um, in chapter two, part one? Oh wait, I didn't look at this. Hehe. <laughs> They melt like wicked witches in fairy tales. Ah, oh, peaceful creatures. If I looked like them, I would, I would go around scaring bad people. It felt like the bright creature could read my, my thoughts. I thank you for waking me up. I was suffering. I must go where I belong. If Thursta awaits, all Valokas, uh, must go there after waking up. If you wish to see the light, come with me. You have the key. It said. I didn't answer. After a while, it faded away. Hmm. Read thoughts? I think that's a bit scary. I guess we're always afraid of things we can't understand. Especially if they seem nice. Wait. If you wish to see the light, come with me. You have the key. February 2nd, 1876. I was reading my writings to see if I'm missing something. I recall Remmer from the fifth reality. If there is a fifth reality, there must be at least four more. I was thinking that Ithursta may not be a city in this world, but a reality by itself. I wish all answers came to me. Wait. Recall Remmer from the fifth reality. If there's a fifth reality, there must be four more. At least four more. But a reality by itself, um, I wish all answers came to me. I deeply regret the fact that I didn't accept the Valakos in invitation. Since I saw the Valakos, I keep seeing this diagram spinning in my head. Um, and a single, and a single sentence. Time is the rhythm of your perception. I don't understand the drawing. Looks interesting, though. Maybe it shows how time looks like. Okay. Um... Wait, did I... Oh, yeah, I, I, I did those. Okay. March 13th, 1876. I got a visit from my son, Brian. I told him about the things that I, I've seen, but he didn't want to hear and left. I don't blame him. I understand that a reality presented before my eyes is invisible to most... Uh, that the reality presented before my eyes is invisible to most of people. I wish I could find a friend just like me because my son thinks I'm insane. Lonely with no family, huh? You should get a cat, Mr. Leon. My son thinks I'm insane. Bah, you're not, I can tell. July 25th. That's the other date we saw. Um... My body and mind are beginning to understand the pattern. Life becomes quite easy to control when you're out. Uh, life becomes quite easy to control when you cut all social laws and only apply our reality laws. Because they are not only laws, but also behaviors. Chemical behaviors. Natural laws. Without those behaviors, without those laws, we wouldn't exist. Sometimes I wish to be a leaf on the ground. Calm while dying. I don't think I have to study chemistry to understand what he means. Or, or I think I have to. Okay. It can be fun to understand. Oh my god. Ow, he seems sad. That's sad. I think I have to study some chemistry to understand what he means. It can be fun to understand how we are builded and such. So these are the two. So the two dates that were in the passcode early on are in here. November 11th, 1876. Um... Last night, after the storm, a huge creature visited my garden for a few seconds and then disappeared. I found a strange bottle with a pink liquid inside in the same spot the creature landed. I can't fully understand the contents of the bottle. I have found red blood cells in it and bacteria not yet recognized. Oh, creepy. 
The bacteria seems to get rid of unusual behaviors in any kind of living creatures. I poured some across... Uh, I poured some of the pink liquid on a dying plant and it bloomed after a few minutes. I cut my finger to, the, to test the liquid with human tissue and it cured it after a few seconds. This bacteria may work as uh, platelet and white blood cells, but at a very high speed. Ah, oh, what creature can that be? Oh, mysterious pink water. Hehe, <laughs> good for the plant that it got better and bloomed. November 22nd, 1876. I dream of thousands of black cats surrounding my house. Big yellow eyes staring at my sleep. Beings in a thirst are varied, from roots to giant insects. Roots are the first in this reality. Insects came later. I learned their language and numerology. Wow, I love the pictures. Many kittens and many colors. Oh, a thirsta. It feels like fresh air is coming up from the book. Looks like somebody ripped off the pages here. Interesting. Oh. Alphabet. The Great Valakos is the beginning of the first reality, Primeve Light. Wait, the Great Valakos is the beginning of the first reality, Primeve Light, Valakos Shield. The Valakos body structure is quite different from ours. They are made out of photons and sound waves. They've also, uh, they're also both male and female. When the youngsters reach age 299, wait, 299,792,459, they are crowned with the shield. So I'm guessing there's going to be some runes that we can have to go and read this with, right? Maybe? If you look at these... A... B... C... D... E... F... G... H... I... J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. They're basically letters, like, um, a lot of them, like, look look very we're going through a, a book that is basically this is basically turned into a fantasy game now with an alternate world with five realities and stuff interestingly though um like uh let's see uh uh i the but a lot of them you can see how the words look like english right a E F Ify uh, A B C D E F G H I J Cow K Elia May Nihi O Pe Q Ifra U R S Tem U and in French Y is Y so Egress is like Y in French kind of um interesting are those letters they sound so funny oh i like the mask i guess they call it a shield 299,792,459 years old well that's old zyar creation of the great valokos king of ethersta second reality of life second reality life oh, okay so first reality is light second is life um, February 13th, 1877. Being in a Thursday feels like becoming what you can't understand on Earth. It's where leaves sing while falling off the tree, and the water whispers its wisdom while you drink it. Ah, oh, beautiful creatures. I love them. I like the trees and crystals and grass, everything. The wisdom in the water. Pandora. Creation of the five realms of essential existence, free, resides in the human reality, in the human world. Third reality, Earth, Mars, and Jupiter. 
Consciousness, practice of will. Okay. So, weird. Um, center seti. The end of vibration. When both ends of opposite direction of opposites are the same degree resides in the third and fourth reality, death. Interesting. Earth? That's my planet. Sena center ZD. Senate. Hmm, death. Okay. Mabuka is the end of light. Creepy. That's the guy. <laughs> wow. Many heads. The creatures must spend a lot of time thinking. Blood everywhere. The end of light. That's the dude. March 23rd, 1877. Mother Mabuka is letting me go. I spent 15 years here in Mabuka's den and I'm tired. I don't need to hide from pain anymore because it's part of me. It feels like love. Uh, it, it feels like love is everywhere and in everything. I enjoy crying. I enjoy laughing. I enjoy being alive. If dark things from the dark are so dark, how do they find each other? Maybe they like it dark because they're so ugly. And they are so ugly that they prefer not to see each other. No date recorded. I'm getting ready for the journey back home. Mabuka sent me to the endless limits of Mabuka's den, and I'm waiting for the Lucifern. I had to become friends with them, or to become, or to be more precise, become one of them. Lucifern gathered in filaments. That's uh, that's why they look like they are growing hair, and uh, and the big face is mostly for communication purposes. And to scare their predators. I hope my body can survive the journey. That must be Mr. Leon sitting there. Are those shiny insects? Where's the hair comb? Hmm. October 2nd, 1878. Gravity collects particles to create new ones. It's, it's a creative force. And with creativity, evolution is inevitable. Is, uh... What is this? The drawing to the left looks like an antenna. Oh no, somebody ripped off the rest of the book. We'll never know what happened to Mr. Leon. Well, you'll never know what happened to him. Except that page one is in the... F I'm currently 92, living alone in a little house. Okay. Interesting. That was a read. That was a big old read. Pink flowers. Can you talk? Hmm, I guess not. No, no. You can't get in. It's closed. What's behind this passage? Sorry, I just wanted to see what's behind the passage. Well, the library, of course, but it's closed. Come back in fall or winter. Then it will be open. Hey, aren't you the talking tree I took to see Palantras? Yes, that's me. Palantras gave me arms and legs. Oh, really? What's the new toy? Um, yes, and also a head. That's very positive. <laughs> yes. But why is the library closed, sir? Well, that's logic. As the sun goes around the second moon of Athirsta, we open. Only then, real knowledge will be learned. And that only happens in fall and winter. Oh, so you don't learn anything while you're in summer or spring? Of course we learn. We learn all the time. I'm learning now that you like to ask so many questions. Well, I'm curious. That's why. Everything looks so different here uh, in Athirsta. I guess you're not from around here. Well, I hope to see you soon. Uh, a short tube thing. Oh, nice. I guess you're not from around here. Well, I hope to see you soon. Yes, thank you, sir. Bye. So many paper swirls, I like them. The wind is so strong, it can blow them all at the same time. Hmm. Wow, this is a bit scary, but so beautiful. 
It almost feels like I could fly. I wish I could bring mommy and daddy here. They would love it. Oh, really? Uh, I think tiny bees would love these flowers and kiss them a lot. Hello, sir. Are you a guard? Yes. Mountain Cotram? Oh, I see. Do you know where Mountain Cotram is? Yes. Can you tell me where it is? Yes. Well, tell me, please. Hmm. The Mountain Cotram is only in winter time. Winter time? What are you talking about? Hmm, of course, winter time. What do you think? But I can't wait for winter time. Oh, you don't wait for it. You go there. Go? Oh, but how? Ah, sorry, I'm not good at explaining things. Go down the stairs and then straight. You'll find a clockmaker. He can explain things. I think he tried with me before. All right. Thank you, sir. Okay, so we're gonna have some time puzzles here, I guess. Hmm. I wonder if we can translate this. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. Oh, I don't know if it's possible. I don't know if this is possible with how this... How this game shows up. Dang, I was like, oh, this would be so cool if we could get this to work. Ah, uh, because the game minimizes whenever I click out, so I can't do what I wanted to do. Ah, uh, because what I did... Yeah... So I have this. So we could actually go and just solve this. If we want, right? It'd be nice to have it up side by side. But I, I can't I can't do that. Oh well. Dang it. That would be cool. Okay. Um Okay, how do we do this? That's oh god That's a P <laughs> This is gonna take a little bit I think what The heck is that that's an O P O Uh, I think this is a, uh... Let's see, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W. I think this is a W. P, O, Y, is this an E? E, is this an R? R. Power. That says power. I... Uh, T. This is a T. Power. It. 
This is a... I think this is a U? It's a Q-R-S-T-U. U... <laughs> oh god. Oh god. This is gonna take a while. Oops. Where's that little thingy? Where's that little, little thingy? It is interesting that it's it's literally just a, a, a translatable language, though. I'm literally not seeing the symbol. Okay, yeah, well, where's this one? Unless this is like an N. This might be an N. I think this is a... Is this a D? Is this like it understands or something? It under... That's... Under... That dash is a T? U-N-D-E-R-T Under... T... Oh, Seba rated me. Where's this little scoopy guy? Are you talking about today? Or, or when you first came? When you first came in? Oh god, I have no clue, Ozzy. I have no clue. That was like a long time ago. Maybe Clammy? Um, U-N-D-E-R-T... Where is this? Is that an A? I think that might be an A. Uh, it, it might have been. It might have been. Power. It under... T A. We've seen this letter before. N under tan D I N. Is this a G? Under tanding. So we might be missing an S somewhere. Where's S? Uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S. I don't see an S there. So I think it's a typo. Okay, no problem, Ozzy. Take care. Power it under understanding. It's got to be understanding. I don't think we're going to do this whole thing. I'm just curious. It's cool that they have stuff like this. Oh, is understanding. Sorry, not it. Power is understanding. Uh, what is this? That's O? This is O. Understanding O... Huh. Might be a V? What is that? There's a couple that look like T's. Might be a V. V I S Wait. R Q R S Vas D Vas D Uh I think we're gonna bail on this. These things? You googled what they said? 
I mean, it's not a spoiler because we're they give you the tools to figure it out now. Sure, what does it say? Power is understanding of... Yeah, I see a spelling mistake already. I've noticed a few spelling mistakes in the game. Power is, under, is understanding Oh, wisdom, truth, lays in the path too. I wonder if the typos are S, F, are the typos, are the missing letters important? Okay, I'm gonna stop translating this. So, power is understanding. Oh, that was wisdom. I was. I misread that. Uh, power is understanding of wisdom. Uh. What are the other two? That's the first one. Oh, wow, I don't understand. It's a tree symbol. I wonder what it says. I can always ask. Hmm, sir. What does it say? the sign say with the symbol? It says what everyone learns at the precise moment of birth. But we forget its meaning within the first seven minutes alive. So we have to spend our entire life trying to understand it. Oh, but what does it say? I can't read it. Oh, power. The understanding of wisdom. Truth lays in the power. Oh my god. Oh my god. I thought I was so clever. Ah, he just tells us. Oh my god. Truth lays in the path towards the power of understanding. Wisdom comes silently. What does it mean? I haven't figured it out yet. Oh. Well, thank you. Bye. Oh, and the slag is waving very hard. Hello to you. Anyone who's played this game before must just be, like, cringing during that whole section. <laughs> I wonder what kind of stones these are. They look like crystals. Very shiny. Hmm. There's more. I wonder if it says a Thursta is there. I T. Yeah, probably. That's the ground. The beautiful paper map swirls. An island. A mountain. I think that's the castle. That's Palantris' home. Okay. Yeah, very different vibe than than the rest of the game thus far. Oh, so many fish. They seem to be in a hurry. Where are you all going? Are you going home? Wish I could go home too. Uh, so... Place, mountain, food? Oh, that seems to be the way to the market. A mountain, a tree, and a little water. It must be the woods. That's the way to the castle and the library. Okay. Oh, look who it is. Hmm. Okay. So you know what? I think that we're going to call it here today. And we'll revisit this next Friday, probably. So thanks for hanging out, everyone. Um, and while we're at it, let's give a little, a little, little, little raid to... Mr. Trolldemort. Mr. Trolldemort is an awesome, awesome guy. Fellow Canadian. Um, let's go say hi to him. Okay, and we just went there. 